here. You know what I think it is? Yes. Mm. I do think that is it. Mm. Oh, okay. Now it works. And you know uh, what? You know why it didn't work? Because this is the one, boys. This is it. Number 102. Right. Hey, what? Devin, you know what? What are we doing on the show? What are we doing on the show tonight? Oh, I'm, gl- let's I'm hear glad this. you asked. Let's hear this for the um, first time. Let's hear this for the very first time, not the second time. Yeah, nobody's ever heard this before. Let's uh, hear it for the very first time from well, your supple Some lips. people in the audience might be wondering what's going on with their wiki, and we're going to talk about that tonight. I've been wondering. I've been asking for days. Uh, we might do a little map content, a little, maybe what happens here. Who knows? Just hey, something. Hey, little twist to it, though. Huh? That's little a teaser. Twist. That's called a little tease. Twist. Um... And then you're going to talk about your experiences at uh, the photography thing you did at Day, Day in the Park or whatever. Yep. I was uh, in a park. That'll be fun. Uh, some big food chat. Um, am I there, missing anything? There will be a brief discussion about donuts. And unfortunately, and I hate to break some hearts here, no movie reviews this week. Oh, uh, didn't so, didn't right. get around to Planet of the Apes? I didn't get around to Planet of the Apes. No, I didn't. Uh, it's it's been a busy week, kind of behind the scenes, you know. Now, I mean, listen. Before we get into anything deeper, listen. All right. Don't look. Okay. Don't look. Mm-hmm. But there's a British person here, and I don't know why. Ooh. I don't know why. I think they're lost. I think they're lost. Yeah. So we'll just uh, we'll work around that situation. So. Anyways, uh, what do we want to start with? Um, I don't we got, know. We got, what are we got anything? We, we just want to like. Anybody got some like beefs they want to talk about? Do I? I don't have any. I'm just asking, like in general, like anybody got anything on their chest? By the way, popping that top. You know what I'm saying? Um, my beef is with the energy drink Celsius, and that it fucking mm. sucks. That's that's my beef. For All this right. Week. Can we have this discussion? Why is it, are y'all sponsored? Are y'all getting paid? Everyone I know is talking about Celsius. Well, oh, no. Okay, so okay. I so let me let me add some context to this. While we were at the Co, that's a little teaser. We went to the Co this week. Uh, we saw a thing of Celsius, and old boy Devin brought up uh, that people were talking about it. Like, all right, I've never had this before. If people are talking about it. I should try it, and I tried it, and it fucking sucked. So people shouldn't be talking about it. No. We got uh, Joseph in chat. Oh, by the way, hey, of course, quick reminder, quick reminder, phone lines are open, 601-651-0519. Hey, by the way, those listening on VOD, those listening on POD, right? Don't feel left out. Leave a voicemail. Call us a piece of shit. Call us a bunch of slurs, right? We'll listen to it live uh, the next week if you leave them. Um, we're also live here in Discord. We're just kind of We're just kind of hanging out, you know? Mm-hmm. So you got a hot take? Come drop it on us. Come drop that hot load on us, which Joseph already Ooh. has. Saying anybody got any boys they want to talk about? I'm hearing that segment might be next week. I'm hearing mm. that segment might be next week. So look forward to that. Uh, I'm actually hearing Joseph. Uh, maybe some notes need to be shared with a certain young woman. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah. Mm. So but if we're airing beefs, I gotta call it Jub. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, well, now hold do. on, hold on, hold on. How can you call out Jub? Well, uh, uh, listen, there might be some reasonable beefs. Let's before see. the show, he was on the fucking toaster. He looked like he's going to fall on the toaster. I was worried about him, so I had to scare him off the toaster. How's he going to fall in the toaster? Yeah, I don't know, like his leg gets in there and then like it's trapped and like fucking electrocutes him or something. I don't know. It's concerning. I, don't, I mean, I think it would, it would like burn him before it would electrocute him. Of course, I don't really know how toasters well, work. The, so. Well, the uh, coils in there well, have a current running through them. I think. Well, yeah, and... but I don't. I don't think if you touch them, it will electrocute you. Which, by the way, this is why we need. This is why we really like need to like have the show in person because it's like, hey, perfect segment. Let's go test it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Which one yeah. of us is going to test uh, it? Not it. Who's touching not the it. toaster? Not it. Here's what. Here's what we'll it won't do. Be we'll my ass. Not we'll it. lower in a glizzy with like an insulated uh, device right, right into the into the toaster and see what happens <laughs> i'm imagining like some mythbusters like rube goldberg ass device just slowly lowering the glizzy in over the course of the show and it's like we'll see what happens at the end of the show tonight boys really curious how long it'll take somebody to be hospitalized over a bit to be honest uh three months yeah 
I feel I feel like that feels more than generous. Mm -hmm. So yeah. who yeah, will anyways. be the first one to be hospitalized? Uh, over a bit? I, I feel like uh airing of the beefs is a good a good segment to maybe, you know, remember. That's I like that. It'd be a good perhaps a show starting segment. We air yeah. our weekly beefs. Sometimes you have a beef so strong you have to get it, you know, off your chest. You can't really have a show while you're carrying the beef. Mm. We yeah. all like the dehydrator. Lottie was just interested because she hoped that the airing of the beast would result in us like doing homoerotic uh, things. I think she reacted. No, to I was thinking roast the beef. beef <laughs> oh, roast beef, roast beef. Yeah, well, actually, beef. hey, yeah, the airing let's... of the beef curtains. Oh. What did he mean by that? I'm not. You know, I don't want to know. Anyway, I actually wanted to address that. So, you know, we were talking the other day, right, about the potential of you know the beef stream after dark returning. Friday nights, possibly. Um, I think we have definitely settled on Rumble, I believe, because I think you can get away with pretty much anything on Rumble. Like, Nick Fuentes is on Rumble. I'm pretty sure he calls for, like, the complete and total destruction yeah, he's not of Israel. Banned, like, it'd be weekly. pretty bullshit if we were banned. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, looking at that, Rumble. Talking about, talking about names for the show? Yeah. I don't want to hate roast beef lesbians. I don't. Yeah. It's just, it's one of those things that it's like it's Gigi. such a stupid yeah it's such a stupid sorry. name. Sorry, what? Yeah, you, 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 I didn't you wouldn't stutter. Get it. You wouldn't get it. Yeah, you wouldn't roast get it. Roast beef lesbians. Oh, yeah. Roast beef mm -hmm. lesbians. I just realized something. I I hold Rumble stock. Why are we not getting money from them? There you go. Ooh, see, there you yeah, go. Now he has a conflict of interest. No, oh. yeah, because that a conflict of interest. Why are they not giving me money? <laughs> well, there you go. Well, anyway. All right. Anyway, yeah, Rumble, I'm thinking roast beef. It's one of those things where it's like it's so stupid sounding that I think it like it grabs the attention, right? Right. That's my Indeed. theory at least. In yes. <clears throat> Indubitably. Yeah, so to I explain think... it to Tony though, um it's what some people have been calling our mainstream as a joke. Well, have they considered, you know, walking up to me in real life and getting shot? Mm. Based. I don't know. That's a good. Based in know. uh, based in shot build. <laughs> Wait, is Lottie in the chat? Yeah, Lottie. Yeah, she's here. She's she's been playing. We've been. Game. All right, let's address let's address the rumors. Yes, we have been playing Stardew all day, mostly, more or less. So, um, gay? No. Yeah. It's actually not gay. It's actually it's actually exceedingly. Listen. All right. You know what? Actually, hold on. No. 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 Because I've been getting pelted with this all week. Right with the other folks, right? It's mm. like, oh, Stardew is a tranny game. Oh, Stardew is, is gay. Blah blah blah. No, Stardew is aggressively chud coated game. Okay, it mm. it ex it exemplifies values like hard work, family, community, a homogenous community. By the way, right? There's like it's mostly you know, mostly mayo monkeys around here, right? Okay, yeah, there is mm -hmm. one. You know, that one woman is married to uh, you know. You know, yeah, but he's a scientist. Well, he's a scientist. He's a scientist. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is an exceedingly right wing game, and I just don't think you know people what, are ready to have that conversation. You know what though? What? It's still, it's still cozy slop. I'm it's wrong with that. It's not actually cozy it's, slop. It's uh, actually I'm, a I'm little bit issue with this. It can't be cozy slop because it was a, it, It's an independent. It's not corporate slop. That's well, true. I mean, well, you, no, and it's got, I would slop. argue most cozy slops are independently made. Though. Actually, not. They're like that yeah. fake independent, where it's like mm. it's like an indie studio air quote that's like owned by like Sony or something. Well, well I don't think like, most of those Mine, companies own. Well, companies. Minecraft is a great example of this, right? Like when when Minecraft was first created, it was independent. But you had, then you have like modern Minecraft, which is all uh, when Mojang got bought by Microsoft or whatever. It's cozy slop now. Uh, Unless it's modded, in which case it's based in good. Uh, uh, I don't know if I agree with is that. Your, is your argument going to be that because it retained enough of the OG traditions that it's not slop? I'm just it. So I, I'm I think okay it, with that argument. I'm okay. It, with yeah, that. it it kind of almost precedes slop a little bit, right? Like it, it's it's kind of at its core, it's still kind of like the OG game. So it's not, yeah, there's not a lot of slop still to it. It's like, yeah, it can be because there's a certain element, right? But 
Well, it, mm. I guess my argument would go in line with something you should like, which is old thing, old thing, good, new thing, bad. Right. That's not the new stuff is cozy but, slop. The old stuff is based. In I bed. don't. That's not what I do. I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. Mm. No, that's what you. How do we feel so, about uh, Ghirardelli Squares? By the way. Yeah. Hold on. Just saying, it's a trans game because they took it over. Doesn't matter. This is inherently farm appealed. It's candy colored and cozy mode, and the man's brain underneath. The stream okay, I'm, I'm going to give you the easy oh, count right here. Are you ready for this, right, Joseph? Yeah. Just ignore them. They can't take anything over unless you let them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Yeah, they took... Why can't we take it back over, though, right? Why can't the Chuds, like, reclaim it? Plant your flag, King. Let's, like, let's let's mod a bunch of Sonin Rads into the game or something and just call it a day, right? Yeah. No, all right, all right whatever. Y'all y'all dudes tripping. I think it's gone. It's gone forever. You think? You think it's? You think tripping, it's done, Dustin? I'm dripping. Are you? Oh. Oh, yeah, big, big drip guy. Yeah. What's what? What brand is your belt? Uh, Gucci. Hmm. Hmm. I got that Good Gucci belt. Allegations. Yeah. Uh, no. Guess what? Neither are you. Ooh. Ooh what did? No, I don't okay. know. Stalling Stardew for real mod. Bass. See, he gets it. He gets it. He gets it. He gets it. All right. Did, um, we, did we have any other beefs or? I mean. Not to be one now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. The segment's also for starting beefs. Okay. I want to start a beef with. Uh... Ring the beef bell. Beef bell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to get a bell sound effect. This will have to do. <clears throat> that's the beef bell for tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm starting a beef with. um. You know, I, I I can't. Like, I'm just such an easygoing, kind of fun-loving guy. Right. You don't have beef with anybody. <laughs> that I just like. How do you How do you even get into beef with me? I'm just a silly little guy. You just right. Like Nobody if you're can. if you're perturbed, that's your yeah. fault. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Base. I feel like. Oh, oh shit! Fuck! You know we from <laughs> what? We're so we we suck. Y'all know that, right? We suck. What do we do wrong now? Do you know we could like? Because last week we were like, oh, there's not much going on. We don't have much to talk about. Uh, what about like the twenty first anniversary of our group? Oh yeah, that's true. That's a big one. Yeah, that was that was literally last Wednesday. Well, you're the one who remembers these things, so I'm blaming. Well, you. anyway, you know we hey. You know what the well, issue was? If our wiki... God! Fuck you! No, it that was that, my segue! Was I was just about to make it! <laughs> you piece of shit! <laughs> Little human garbage! I was, that's, I'm the segue guy! Great segue, Tony. Fuck off. She's the Segway guy. Now, for the in-person show, we're gonna have to actually buy one of those, like, Segway little, like, rideable things. Right. And like, it's like, yeah. um... It's like Top Gear. Like, when they switch to, like, a yeah. different segment. They're literally just in a different part of the studio. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but, but speaking of, and then I just segue to, to a, ride the segue. And he's I, too old. And he's gonna fall and break. Oh, it fuck up. off! <laughs> fuck off! Fuck off! Hey, hey! Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Tim! Thank you, buddy. This is this is a big one, isn't it? New decade, it's, huh? It's, it's, oh yeah, new decade. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't know because I'm not in that decade yet. Yeah, like, which is crazy. The fact that I'm turning forty and I'm still younger than you. Fuck happy off! I'm. To you. No, we're not. We legally uh -oh. can't sing that song. Yeah. Uh oh. Wait, is, yeah, isn't that actually a thing? Is that a thing? Yeah, but I mean, we're so small time. Nobody's going to give a shit. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. Well, hey, speaking of segues, uh, our wiki. So yeah. the other day I was talking about it because I was I was looking. I was like, oh, man, why is our... Because um, our wiki still runs on an old VPS that we've used for literally like 10 mm -hmm. years now. And it's hosted a bunch of stuff over the years. And I was looking, I was like, oh, it's using a weird bunch of uh resources here and got under the hood and i was like oh boy this is using a lot of memory I'm like what what's going on here mm. i haven't really figured that out um so that's that's like issue one it runs fine i think it's um, working for me right now yeah no one no one said anything but behind just know that behind the scenes something is brewing and i don't know what it is and i don't know why mm. it is and i don't know how the to storm's fix coming it. yeah so i'm worried that it's it, it's doing something my SQL and PHP are doing something, and I can't really figure out what. But on top of that, I've also just kind of been thinking about like dumping the VPS because we have the wide server, 
and I ostensibly could very easily just host the whole thing here yeah. on bare metal. Um, and that would, that would, uh, that cut some cost here at wide media group. So, yeah. you know, we're all about cutting costs, but, uh, but what's really happened in the wiki? Cause you know, we've been talking about all this shit, right? Like, oh, you know, we're, in, you know, we got this going, you know, we bullied this person. We, you know, ran this person off, you know, we might have allegedly doxed somebody, but probably not, you know, haha, we would never do that for legal reasons. Um, but Taylor, why 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 has there not been any new articles, right? It's a great question. Well, it's because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Well, it is. You are a lazy piece of shit because you've literally never written an article ever. I don't even have an account. Yeah, you. Yeah, so, mm. or, so hey, not everything has to do with you, Tony. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, it does. Um, literally everything ever has to do with me. I don't think it does. I don't actually think oh, uh, it. Uh... Can, can you uh, can you prove that? Uh, do you need a peer reviewed study? Yeah, I do. Okay, here it is. As, it, was re- it was revealed to me in a dream. So, as the only person here with a science degree, <laughs> what oh, is science and being gay. Okay, all right. Well, that's just yep. not even. That's just not even true. So, anyways, well, who else has a science degree? Me. I technically have mm. a social science degree. Technically, I have social science as science. Oh, shut. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, shut up. Anyway, uh, yeah. So I mean, I've been thinking about this a lot. Oh, hey, hey, there's, we got science. Oh, be careful, oh, yeah. thinking's bad for you. I agree. <laughs> I, uh, the problem is, yeah, we've been having a lot of shenanigans lately, right? <laughs> but science I that you rang. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's okay, we got science to chat. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't really, like, write anything. Oh, it's, like, not letting you? No, that's not what I said. I just oh. don't know how, because, so the problem we have, like, now that we've kind of so for those of you who don't really know right we we had kind of a seismic upheaval in our culture here in the past year or so right yeah and we're not we don't really have those boys anymore we don't really have those dogs anymore because they kind of stopped being our dogs you know what i'm saying so we moved on Uh right and we started the new era the new era actually if you will uh and we we've got uh we're hanging around these new people right oh all all fun and cool right 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 right. the problem is like everyone there like uses like real names and it's hard to like write about people using their real names because it's it's a little awkward we're just gonna have to give them new nicknames i considered letting me giving them all names yeah 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 yeah. so i've actually i actually have written down a couple of names for it so i could start to cut like thinking about it where did i write them down I don't know if I, so, oh yeah, so so here, yeah, here's some of the names, and like, um, so we have Lottie here, right, for some reason I had put down her name as Joanne, I'm not Man. certain why. Huh? Just re- referred to her as a I don't know. Yeah, girl. Um, yeah, and I, I just started giving everyone yeah. like fake names, like Steve I was going to call Ivan, which, that's just me oh, being gosh. racist. Did you, did you say Oh God or Igor? Oh, Igor, because <laughs> either of those are funny. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll workshop that. We'll workshop that. One. We'll workshop that one. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's just it's just kind of like it's been a little because it was like I think some of the stuff is actually like really funny, and by really funny I mean like really funny, you know? Um, right. But it's just been like I just don't even really know how to like approach it. You describe yourself as a funny guy. Oh, some 100%. of the people there, since they you know since necessarily they have to use like instagram and so on socials for verification it's like some of them have pre-selected like usernames that they use Mm -hmm. kind of so you could just reference those in some cases yeah but i'm trying to avoid even that as well because it's also one of those things where it's like you know that's still something that's like tracked back to the person sure but i mean theoretically all the names of our old group too could be like tracked back that was that was our group though oh sure sure sure. my my Uh, hang up here is that we are considered that this uh, the photo friend server exists solely to entertain you well Except yeah obviously obviously sure yeah but that's still kind of like rude to say out loud so <laughs> i don't and i i'm trying to not be that big of an asshole so i am trying oh, to well. be like as a relative outsider right i'm trying to be um what's the word i'm looking for here Devin? courteous uh, yeah yeah um, yeah i'm trying to be courteous conscientious conscientious yeah so more like courteous i think i'm just i think i'm just gonna give everyone like fake names i think we're gonna call it really really big ten dollar words for just being a bitch 
Yeah. It's going to be hard to keep track. If you're just making them up out of nowhere, it's going to be hard to keep track of them. So I feel like... No, I have, uh, an, I have a master notepad. Like an index, yeah, would be... Yeah, I have a, I, there's a yourself. master index. But... Okay. So I, I think anyway, that's... All, hey, a... look, all this discussion about the wiki, which can be found at wideboys.org. Right. Exactly. There you go. Wideboys.org. Read the wiki now. Speaking yeah. Which, are, this we, is... are, are we married to that? You're so demanding. Yeah. <laughs> are we married to what? I, I, I thought that the... Um, are, are we keeping it as wideboys.org or are we uh, rebranding? Are we... Uh I yeah, we're still. There, but... I mean, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably, probably indefinitely, it will remain wideboys.org, because that's kind of like the community aspect from it. That's the, if the we ever, yeah, if we ever needed like some sort of like official thing, we would just have like a white house. Yeah, like, like whitehouse.com or whatever could be a separate entity. Like, I, like a wiki's that's like. For, or for the... you know how you know how I love doing mm -hmm. right widehha.us. Is mm. you is dot us yeah. a thing? Probably, but it might be reserved for like government entities or something. I don't know. You'd have to check. But uh, dot us also, domain. I personally available I personally, for use by U.S. citizens. Okay. Oh, interesting. I I, I know. Kind of find that format a little gimmicky, but whatever. Well, here's the thing. I find you a little gimmicky. Yeah. Well, mm. you shouldn't. Well, I do. These nuts. Yeah. Do y'all remember when? Fucking. Oh, five dollars a year? All right, remind mm. me to do it. Yeah, I might go ahead and reserve that after this. Um, do y'all remember all the time when I used to talk about like the wiki and like every once in a while, um, fucking retard Oracle would like chime in, mm -hmm. and he would be like, "You mean your, you mean your, your ego project?" Which is ironic because like, how many people have we had who have like? come in and been like, oh, I found y'all from the wiki. Like, I hadn't, hadn't yeah. talked to y'all guys in years. And it's like, oh, you mean you found me from our public-facing source of information? Wow, that's fucking crazy. Oracle, you fucking yeah. retard. Dude, I hate that guy so much. Yeah. I... I'm just going to go ahead and come out and say it. Y'all know I tend to be um, the professional diplomat. Sure. Are you? Yeah, he is. That's kind of his thing. Yeah, literally make a living. I fucking can't stand him. Never could. No. Damn. I don't. I think he he started coming down with like GMOC syndrome at some point. That that does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't. The, I don't really. The, the heat that Tay has with like Capri, I have with Oracle. Really? Yeah. It is okay. Like now that's thermo nuclear. Like every time he talks, I want to hit something. Where does this hey, come he's... from? Wait, I mean, sorry, like, you mean like talk in text or because like, we don't really talk to him in voice ever but well, no no he would never come in voice because he's fucking useless all he wants to do is make his little smart ass little bullshit adds nothing commentary yeah fuck off Oracle man hold yeah, okay Oracle. see this is one of those things where I feel like I've had heat with this guy for a while and like Devin would do the Devin's advocate thing and I'm like okay well I'm, I'm justified Oracle, here no I, I hate Oracle too <laughs> oh, okay. he, he'd, he'd always like say shitty snide things to me too and I'd be like well okay, that's retarded so yeah. The, the the number one thing that I, that fucking just chaps my ass about people in general is if you're the kind of person that literally just does nothing but point out problems and offers no solution or even a hint yeah. towards a solution, like fuck off. Well, I've his no thing his thing was always like he would he would have he would have yeah, he would have like ideas and like we would do them and he either wouldn't show up for them or he would like he would just complain about it. Right. Yep. And then just do nothing because he I mean, he was yeah. OK back in the day. He was great. He was, he was actually pretty good back in the day. But then, yeah, at a certain point, he was just like, I think he got angry at us as, like, as things like started slowing down or whatever. But it was like, OK, we'll do something about it. And then, yeah, then at a certain point, he like he, he started telling us like, oh, I have this, I have a 4chan group. And it's like, OK, well, you're just officially gay now. OK, that sounds like a great time. That's I have literally not had any good encounters with people from 4chan how do you do yeah. fellow channers Fuck as, as someone who like spent a yeah, lot of time on 4chan yes that's on right. yeah as a on as a kid or not a kid but a young adult a teenager sorry mm. i hate i just i don't like chan people yeah I, I feel like the the best experience i ever had participating like i mean i still occasionally read 4chan for certain things but like, i the think best i might know what you're gonna say huh party van yeah, I was gonna say Hell yeah, playing yeah, TF2 dude. with them was probably about the most positive experience I've ever had. With Bro, 4chan party van was the greatest Team Fortress server 
in history. Yeah. Like, not not even anything close. Yep. So, anyway, that's what's going on with the wiki. So, I don't know. Well, uh, because there's there's some good stuff. I I think the one thing that I, that is like mentioned on there is the uh, the Rory thing, which I didn't. I didn't mind. Uh, I didn't mind like bringing up because it, like it was kind of like an isolated event yeah. that didn't really have to do with any one person except Rory, who wasn't like associated with anything. Mm-hmm. But I think like that's a really funny one to write about. Um, I think the Mel thing would be funny to write about. Mm, yeah, because that was just so ridiculous. Um, I th- maybe would the Indian girl thing be funny to write about? Mm, maybe I, I mean it could be i think i think some of the history right the uh yeah but i, I didn't want to get too deep in the history because it like doesn't really have anything to do with us is is sure, the thing sure i think they like a backstory section I'm, yeah I'm, I'm just trying to keep it like like uh, wide boys specific I, don't know, I think the other side off we did about the whole like trying to marry her thing would be funny yeah that oh, goes that, into it that was beautiful <laughs> that was I funny. Imagine, beautiful to witness we were actually yeah. talking about that last night, and like that, that was kind of a Devon original. Sure, yeah, yeah, I'll take credit. And then, and too. then I was very confused about it, but then I was like, oh, okay, I get the joke. Yeah. Well, once you ran with it, it was, and then uh, I took, I took the next step, and I was like, oh, okay, well, let's let's like make it the an arranged marriage joke because that's funny. Mm-hmm. I think the letter yeah. to the dad really sealed the deal. <laughs> the, no, it was yeah. the letter from the dad, and he had yeah, con, yeah, yeah he had it. contacted me. And been like, hello, good sir. My my daughter m- never get married. <laughs> Please, you're you're a good you're a good white American man. You marry my daughter. Yeah, we gotta we gotta get you to Dairy Queen a few more times. Your accent's slipping. What to Dairy <laughs> Queen? <laughs> what? Are they staffed by Indians? Where you're? Oh, at? that is very much a thing. Really interesting. Hmm. Well, speaking of Dairy Queen, anybody have anything interesting to eat this week? I did ask <laughs> Dairy Queen the other day. <laughs> oh, that's where that came from. Okay, and no, there, no, and there they say terrible, is the rest of the story. Terrible Indian accent. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, it was. It was a solid was five. It was well, the worst I've heard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hit us with a better one, Chief. Speaking of a solid five, yeah, that's I'm what not, I thought. I'm gonna try because I dare not <laughs> desecrate. Hmm. Yeah. Chris says what he cannot do. Strange. Hmm. hmm. Based. He who based, can't based, teaches. Based, based, yeah, but when based, I do it, it's based. Based, cool. I see. All right. Anyways, there's a big difference there. Anyone have anything interesting to eat lately? Well, I did tell you all about the lions, Ben. Oh yeah. Well, did you tell us about that last week, or was that off stream? It it was after last stream because I think I did it. What day did I go there? It was um, it was Friday. Regardless, I've never been there before, so it's a new thing. What was this lions den? Yeah. Yeah. What what happens at the Lion's Den? So the Lion's Den apparently has like banger subs and really crappy pizza. Oh no! Mm. From from all reports, and then mm. like a decent Stromboli, despite having mediocre pizza. So I went and had the steak and cheese on the recommendation from many people. It was many, many steak steak cases, and cheese, I think, fresh to order, which is good. So, so I just got that. Literally nothing. So apparently, this place like it doesn't look like much. It looks like just a regular old kind of junky old restaurant but people will drive like 45 minutes each way to this place for the steak and cheese sub interesting and i would say you know to quote tay earlier it was a solid five like i'd get it again it's not the best i've ever had but it was pretty decent i don't have to drive 45 minutes it's like 10 minutes away from my house Hmm. nice nice you like you like it to be close it helps a lot yeah, especially around here. There's um the, the little town I live in has a lot of good food options. So, but I'm trying to branch out a little further, nah. see what all is out there. I was talking to you guys about the ideas for the uh, the birthday dinner tomorrow. Mm. So I've, I've got the known and I've got the unknown that I'm trying to choose between. Um, and we've got the uh, the one place is uh, Pizza Town, which has the best pizza I've ever had. Old, tall old. Right no, but it, it it's good. I have not had a anything from there that was even remotely close to mid. Like their cheese pizza was a bang. I see. I see. Is this unknown the th- the other thing you were linking? The unknown is Junie B's. That's okay. the that's the one I'm not as familiar with. Okay. 
And that's that's but the I menu. Did, but I did like the idea of the twenty five dollar nine ounce steak with two sides. That sounded like a pretty decent. I think you just like it because it's called the baseball cut sirloin. What do they mean by that? It plays a part. What? No, what cut. did? No, literally, what did they mean by that? Yeah, I don't. I'm gonna look this up. What I, makes I'm a cut? It's of gotta be just the shape cut. of the cut. Like maybe, it, maybe oh. it's a spherical cut of the sirloin. I see. Uh. Yeah, it looks spherical. It's a cut of beef from the center of the top sirloin cap. So it ends up looking a little bit like a filet mignon, actually. Oh, that's what I was going to say, because that's just like you're just kind of describing like filet mignon. I don't know if that's the same cut, though. Like the same source cut. I don't. Filet mignon is not sirloin, is it? No. No. Okay. Well, like that's, that's... Yeah, that's not that's not filet mignon, then, Tay. There's a. Uh... No, I just I meant the like the shape. Oh, the oh the shape. Yeah, but yeah, the shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut 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 the fuck up. I'll slap it you. It does out. look like what you would expect a filet mignon to look like. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank okay. you. But the texture won't be the same, and the flavor. See, dude, you gotta you gotta understand the context here, Tim. Devin doesn't understand because he's never been to a nice restaurant. I've been to nice restaurants. I don't think you have. Mm. I've been to expensive steakhouses. I didn't pay yeah, for them myself, but I've been to them. How many how many Taco Bell points do you have? That doesn't mean I haven't been to good restaurants. How many? I that's not what I ask. How many I Taco know. Bell I, points I, do you I, have? I have the equivalent. It's like six thousand something because I've over the years since I got the Taco Bell app, I've spent roughly six hundred dollars at uh, Taco Bell. I think so. Sheesh. Well, in the words of Colonel Jefferson Beauregard Bocephus Robert E. Lee Davis Davis the Fourth Esquire, uh, "Your Honor, I rest my case." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, milk, yeah, milk, okay. milk, yeah, based and true, so true, so true, oh, so no, you know, real. If I, you know, from my my kind of background ways of just goy slop, right? I'm uniquely qualified to judge good food. You see, like uh, I'm a foodie. Uh, you know, I uh, eat, and right now I ate. You know, as the kids say. So, uh, you hear a foodie. He's oh, a yeah. something. How many Taco oh, Bell points do you have again? <laughs> <laughs> that argument can't keep working. That's it, a lot. But the crazy thing is that it does actually. It works. No. Yeah. No. 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 God, I'm. Do you go to? Uh, have you found so your much. local gastro pub in in Tennessee? There's actually in downtown Maryville. There's like a lot of like kind of snobby, like overpriced little gastro pub places. So I have a lot of options there if I really wanted to go spend twenty dollars on a burger, but I don't. <laughs> Um, did you say on a burger? Yeah, because you know those gastropub places. It's like it's a good five to ten dollars more than your typical sit down place for like basic oh, yeah, shit that's like that. It's called a gastropub. Yeah, but at least you can make up for that by getting some really really shitty IPA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least I can drink. I can drink while I'm there, and that's apparently an important thing to some people. Ooh, I'm gonna drink. Um, I all fun and games, talking girls, oh, snap oh, scores. Oh, I forgot to tell you about talk. the uh, Foresta. <laughs> I did have a place. Speaking of drinking. Yeah, I, I went on a date. Oh, nice! Ooh. Went to this nice, uh, went to this nice place in town called uh, Foresta. Yeah. So I had my first bao bun. Ooh, your first mm. what? It's a Chinese thing. Chinese shit. Oh, it, yeah. It's, like, it's one of those fusion restaurants or whatever. Oh, so God. we we opened up with uh, some kind of some kind of cra- um. It was like an ice cream cone shaped sushi. I don't remember what it was called. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I've crab looked like face huggers, so really I think fun. they call them hand rolls. Yeah, yeah, hand and... rolls. That's it, hand rolls. No, and so opened up with some of that with some soft shell crab, which was amazing. And then uh, the no. bao buns. Um, what what did we have? We had a uh, there was a carne asada with a really really spicy pico, that kind of caught us off guard, but it was very tasty. And then a, uh, a pork belly, like a braised pork belly bao bun, it was phenomenal. Science saying uh, expensive steakhouses are a waste. Go to the Knoxville Farmers Market and buy grass steak from Doodash Farms. Is this a sponsored? Is this a sponsored? Ad? <laughs> sponsored yeah, the, the stream is now brought to you by Doodash Dash Farms. Farms. Hey, you know who else has a sort of side note? You know who else has like a, a killer farmers market? Chattanooga, hmm. the news. Yeah, that makes that. Yeah. Ch- Ch- Chattanooga's got like a weird. I feel like it's kind of being. Uh, gentrified in a way where it has a lot of like hip stuff happening no now. it very much is because like that's long been 
Tim will probably back me up on this. Like for a long time, Chattanooga had a reputation, right? Yeah. And it still does to a certain extent. But like that downtown area, like that northwest area ish, right? Uh, is definitely like, yeah, moving back towards. I mean, like they have like being... a fucking cat cafe. They're kind of quirked up over there, you know. Well, the or... cat cafe is actually in a more like middle class neighborhood down the highway, going I'm just south. Saying that's that's some that's some yeah, some quirk chungus type shit, but. What? Y'all know I lived for like a year and a half. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. So when when I was there, there that's why that's what I'm saying. You, you'll back me up here for all of this. But now, yeah, now basically it's it's all trendorific anywhere except for East Brainerd. You don't go to East Brainerd after dark. Mm. Yeah, we don't that's, go to that's East where Brainerd. Okay, drive. You <laughs> don't you don't go. Trust. Not a, not a big East Brainerd guy. Not a big East Brainerd. Not a big East Brainerd guy. But they were they were starting that uh, revival. Let's yeah. call it not, where they were, especially around the college campus. Mm -hmm. Putting up a bunch of really really they put up a bunch of really nice condos and at first they didn't sell. Wait, so what, they what college is there? So they could get them. UT sold, Chattanooga, really dumbass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've literally played them in football. I'm retarded. I do appreciate how it feels like. I mean, obviously Nashville is the main point of like influx for people moving here, but it, I appreciate that. Like while Chattanooga, and to a lesser degree, Memphis seemed to be getting some of that like splash damage. Like, and while Knoxville is growing, I feel like we're getting overlooked by a lot of the transplants, which is for the best. You know? Yeah. Yo, that's definitely for the best. The, the the beef that I've got with Knoxville is that they're um they're they're exiling their undesirables further north. They're sending they're shipping them with five hundred dollar cards and Obama phones to Kingsport and Bristol. Right. Well, Ooh. You know. And yeah, I, I don't, you it don't has don't, implications for you, right? You but, don't want to say that. It has implications for me because that's God's right. country. No, sure, sure, but I'm I'm you know I'm happy to not have them in my city. You know. The good the good news is as I see from the police scanner app and on Facebook and all that they get arrested pretty quickly for fucking so. Yeah. Uh, it all works out. A couple rounds of ammunition would be cheaper than a bus ticket, to be honest. But uh, for legal reasons, that's a joke. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying I would do it. I'm just advising the government on policy to maybe save the taxpayers some dollars. Sure, anyway. sure, sure. Yeah. But and, for and legal if, reasons, if we we're dealing with the beloved mayor of Knox County. That would probably be a thing. But we're dealing with the mayor of Knoxville. Mm. Yeah. What's the call-in number? It's uh, six zero one six five one. Oh five one nine. It's on the screen, you numb nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's on the out. fucking screen <laughs> of the stream you're watching. You fucking retards. It's like the well, second part of the number. Look how to use your eyes. Excessive weed consumption does to your mind. So true. So real. Eat my ass. I would prefer <laughs> not to. I just, I, I just want you to. I just want you to remember, though, just in case um, you end up being crazy or whatever i was the one that was nice to you and posted it in the chat that's so true yes also i just noticed right. what you posted in side chat there tim about, yeah, uh, oh all right yeah. Yeah. probably loud uh welcome caller oh you have to watch that uh stream <laughs> hey you want you want to you want to mute your fucking stream there <laughs> bud oh uh, yeah 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 that's, that's probably good that's probably good <laughs> you want to you want to Oh, that's how that's how uh, Art Bell felt all these years, huh? I never heard Art Bell. Uh, yeah, you know, I just I just wanted to come on and say, you know, uh, you know, we need some hard hitting topics nowadays, and I need to hear I need something, you know, it's gonna it's gonna hype me up. Something people love, something that's provocative. Right. Okay. What do you What do you think we should be talking about? Um, you know, just the hard hitting topics, you know. Okay, you can't just uh, keep saying suggestion. hard. You can't just keep <laughs> saying hard hitting <laughs> topics. You have to give us a hard hitting topic. I just needed. I just thought I should come in here and just you know be the life of the party, lighten things up a little bit. Okay. You know, maybe get some of you guys to, you know. Well, I don't I'm know. gonna come in you. <laughs> okay. You're gonna get a lot of excited. All right. I'm, that's, I'm that's, listening. Okay. Well. Uh, so, so by the way, uh, Tim one, the guy currently in our, on our show, we have Tim two here calling in just so you know, can I be, oh, this is worse, Tim, a? Can I be no, Tim you are, he can be one. You cannot be Tim alpha. No, sorry. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Senior, what do you think? This is, this is the, this is the Tim that I this have is, to literally is, murder for superiority. Yeah, this is other yes. Tim. So we're bringing back the beef segment right now. Figure right. it out. Yeah, this, this is a valid beef. All right. So we're basically talking about cuts of meat over here. And going on, going talking on. Talking about like something, you know. <laughs> well, come like, on, you want you want to be fucking provocative? Here, pro like, provocate. Go ahead. 
Well, I'm going to act like I know what that word mean, means and just continue. You know, <laughs> so, you uh, know what it means? <laughs> You're the one coming in here wanting to be the fucking Tim Alpha. <laughs> I want to be Tim A. You can be Tim One. Well, you're, well, you're say, fucking not. To deal with. Different, different you know, numbering, you know lettering shit? systems. How? First of all, how old are you? You might be older than me. So you I'm might old be fucking enough. Be How's that for? Yeah, yeah, call him old. That'll get him. How old Wait. are you? How old are you? Probably you're gonna die soon. That's how old you are. You're old <laughs> so, I'm, so, I'm, so I'm not as old as Tay. <laughs> so okay, so you're not gonna die that soon. Like, but I'm older than everybody else. Lottie, what were you asking? It is. Is this? Bong ripped Tim? Yeah, this is yeah. bong. This is weed crunch Tim. Fucking hell. Why? Fuck. Fucking hell. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so you're the some bitch that I've seen doing rips while <laughs> while smoking. Is this drugs, our favorite right? Irish lass? Yeah, it's uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is old good old Lottie, <laughs> Lottie D. I don't know where the D's coming from. Lolly, lollipop. Lolly, yeah. Nice. I don't know. All right, we got anything else to add before I hang up on you? Did he really come? He no, wants to come in here and ask me my fucking all right, age. Really? All right. Well, well, <laughs> well that thank, was thank, provocative, I guess. Thank, thank you for your feedback. Right, guys, we'll, uh, we should be a happy birthday. Yeah, fucking fuck it. False, <laughs> fucking Tim, too. <laughs> Inferior Tim. Clearly, you just let anyone on. Wait, well, hey, that's, that's what the call that's line's for. Hey, 601-651-0519. You want your voice mm -hmm. heard? Call in, y'all. I think that went pretty well. What do you guys think? Be the voice I, of the people. I think it was. I think it's pretty good. You know, it would be even better maybe if you know we were to hear from like I don't know a former president or something tonight. We'll see what happens though. Yeah. Ooh. The problem was he came in here after I'd already I'd already tuned up my rage when Oracle got brought up. Right. Right. I was already, I was already in mid season. Four. Well, yeah. See, he wants something provocative, so I had to mention. You know. Right. Yeah, Tim Tim situation. Tim there, Bits. There you go. For, for once, you're both sides and paid off. T Tim Bits. Tim Book 2. There's a lot of Tim puns here. To right. Me. Yeah, none of them are fun. Right. No, uh, they're all very good. Well, um, uh, the good. Tim and Tony and Tony and Tony and Tony and Tevin. What what uh, the, what 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 food? What, uh, Talk about what food. Wants to go? Try, I'm trying to try to get us back on track here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, ours is gonna be long. I don't talk about food anymore. I'm fucking heated up. Okay, well, <laughs> you, you keep that keep that rage smoldering. Um, so I gotta say, I don't know if we did anything before this this week, but uh, this this uh, like the day or two after our last show, my uh, Wendy's gift cards finally arrived. Right? Mm -hmm. Granted, that one's uh, been, they, that one's been a long time coming. Oh, it's way. a long running arc, and they didn't deliver to our fucking mailbox because the guy like fucked up the postage, and so like forty four cents was owed. So I had to go to the post office and pay forty four cents. Jesus, this loose change I had. Which I'm fine because I don't. I'm never gonna use. I I never, I never use coins smaller than a quarter anyway. So I was like, whatever, you know. Um, like I'm not carrying that shit around. So uh, I had to go pick it up. I didn't mention it to the to the guy, the district manager that sent me the the gift cards because I was like, you know, this is I, I'm done. I don't want to keep doing this. Like I I got I got like twenty dollars of profit off of this situation. Whatever. This is near Wendy's anyways. So didn't mention it. If you ever ask, though, I will mention it. Anyways, uh. After going and checking out the mall for the first time, because I've never really gone inside of our mall before, uh, I went to the Wendy's, and of course, you know, big Wendy's bag. We we had a, a big Wendy's trip, you know, because stacking coupons and gift card credit and stuff. Uh, and yeah, just a lot of, a lot of classic biggie bag antics. Um, it's good. It was good. It's good to be back with, uh, you know, te Team Wendy, you know, after, after our kind of uh, our feud for a while. And I'll tell you what, uh, they gave us, they gave us an extra fry, didn't they? Yeah, I think that was what they yeah. gave us. Yeah, I feel like I feel like it's possible that in the wake of them fucking me over so hard that I'm now on like the Wendy's VIP list. Maybe I'll just get random extra items every time. Who knows? Um, is that a thing? I, pff, yeah, apparently I'm on it. So I know this is a pointless nice. question, but have you tried their breakfast burrito yet? I've had some of their breakfast items after they revamped the menu. I haven't had a chance to try the burrito since you recommended it. Uh, I will if I ever go during breakfast again. It's just rare that I'm over there during breakfast. Yeah, but... I had one this morning. Yeah? Pretty good. I mean, it looks good. Uh, I mean, a lot of their breakfast items, like the breakfast baconator is pretty good. I even think their like, breakfast chicken sandwich is pretty good. It's like kind of on a croissant or whatever. If I'm recall. not a fan of the honey butter. Oh, uh, really? For whatever reason, I just I can't, I can't do it. Yeah. Which is um, weird because I, I like that usually, but it's just too sticky and mm. oh, too sticky. Mm. Yeah, hmm. It's a shame. 
no such thing. No. Uh, yeah, their oh. stuff's pretty good. But uh, Tony, did you have a good Wendy's experience? Was, was it yeah, it was a standard there? Wendy's experience. Yeah. Um, I think we had some value revelations about like what biggie bags worth the like the best uh, or worth that's the best. true. We did the best value. value. Yeah. Um, the because apparently the single biggie bag actually like pound for pound gets you more per dollar kind of than any other one like the single burger one. So that was a revelation. Um, honey butter is unfortunate. Well, you know I think it's good. Anyways, um, and aside from that, uh, I also experimented with upsizing my frosty and fry this time because it's a small upcharge and i feel like that's worth it as well we're really getting to like the 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 essential uh like wendy's value maxing experience i feel like i feel like we're like approaching the zenith here in the white house of how to get the most out of them uh, i also learned that on their app you can combine offers and point rewards which is unusual because at a lot of other fast food restaurants if you're going to redeem your like your rewards points from the app you like can't overlap with it with like a, a deal like a regular coupon or whatever they have on the app but at wendy's you can combine them which is also kind of a big deal since otherwise it's like you don't often get a chance to use your points because there's always coupons that are better anyways wendy's back in rotation um uh, and then later this week we uh went to um <clears throat> we went up to the costco right uh and before that Stopped at a little place called Gus's Fried Chicken or what world famous fried chicken, whatever. Um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, both Tony and myself got tendies. Uh, our enthusiastic waiter, who might have been the owner or something, uh, although he might not have been because it's, it's a big chain, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just the franchise owner. I don't know. Anyways, gave us an extra tendy each. Didn't charge us for our sauces and so on. Pretty aggressive with the refills. Great service. Good, good chicken. Um, I was happy with it. Tony, what were your thoughts on Gus's? Um, I thought it was pretty good. They went for a like different. It was it was almost like they didn't have any batter on it. Like it was just kind of a piece of chicken thrown right in the fryer. No, that, I, that wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. It was more of like a beer batter type thing. It just wasn't especially crisp. Um, I don't. I don't, I don't think there was much of batter at all. It it was definitely there was definitely a like carbohydrate based shell on it. It's just not, it's like Southern style. It's not the crispiest, you know, it's not like Korean fried chicken. No, I'm going to go as far as say there was nothing on there, but it was still tasty. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, the picture of it is in our food chat. So yeah, it's and it's bare. There's, de there's, de there's definitely a batter on it. That's not, how uh, that's not how fried chicken without any coating would look. Our food chat. Yeah. Where would I, uh, where would I go to see such food chat? On our Discord, which can also be reached through wideboys.win. Oh, okay. Anyway, it was pretty good. Uh, now, this is a slightly spicy in flavor. Not that spicy. All things yeah, it's not like Nashville hot. hot. It's not like uh, doused in hot oil or whatever, but it is like a spicy batter, I think, is what they're going yeah, for. And I, I did note that, like, while in the store, wasn't really I couldn't really taste the spice at all, but when I had my second two as leftovers when we got back home, it was notably more spicy i, I noticed that as well yeah that was interesting really lottie doesn't perk up for spicy batter come on that was low <laughs> we're not first. we're not talking about chippy so oh yeah uh, it's not really oi, you don't go to the chip eh oh well she's british oh, so she no, literally oh, doesn't know oh, food. oh no but i get shit on for my indian accent okay oh, that no. flawless. Uh, that's, that's a flawless that. yeah. british accent okay oh, yeah. anyways tony what were you saying Fuck if I know. <laughs> okay, well, well anyways, nice. I was happy there. I also took the my little plastic, because like if you're dining in, they still give you the takeout cups that are like plastic. So now I have a commemorative Gus's cup. Well, they um, gave you one, but they didn't give me one. Because you didn't upset. get water? They're not going to give a so? poor so? water person a, a reusable. I'm or sorry. Like a, I'm sorry I don't pay for a $3 soda. Well, you know, I was there eating Southern Fried Chicken, and I had to get some sweet tea. Mm. So I true. Got a sweet tea for you. Do you? Do you? yeah. What? No. What I does that even? Yeah. What does that even mean? Well, hmm. yeah. No, I don't. That's why I asked. I'm also curious well, to know. Don't, don't yeah. Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. But I do want I the want answer. Yeah, we need to know. Yeah. The people want to know. Yeah. You'd know if you read my blog. <laughs> okay. He doesn't even. Oh, you have got a Substack going. 
You know, read my other blog. Okay. Honestly, well, anyways, after I'm just going to say this. If I, if I find out any of you ever have a sub stack, I'm killing you. And that's not a threat. That's that a problem. That might, that that might be a problem for Joseph, is. honestly. Nah, just, be... Joseph's a, a Chad and base self host guy. That's I know true. one guy with a sub stack, and he's actually doing more. So. Is it that uh, one guy that I follow on Twitter? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love that dude. He's so schizo. I love it. Yeah, he went from one of our fellow like D live streamers who smoked a bunch of weed to being like turbo based in schizo. Very nice. I think he's a version of orthodox. Does yeah, I was about to say. He, yeah, I was about to say. I think he's orthodox as well. So. Anyways. Um... Anyways. Well, yeah, after after Gus's, though, we hit uh, the Costco proper, you know, got some got some paper goods that we need to re up on. This is the main reason we go is because we need paper towels and toilet paper and stuff like that. Uh, but Which we did find out we might be getting scammed on. But... Yeah, apparently uh, paper plates there actually aren't the best value. Uh, the other stuff might be fine. I still have to run the numbers on that. But uh, apparently paper plates aren't actually a better value than just buying the equivalent size from like Walmart. So uh, do you see paper plates? Yeah. Yeah. You got a problem with that? <laughs> so do you not is you host a lot of parties that have paper plates or no we're just bachelors and we don't want to do dishes <laughs> like... you're shitting me what are you talking no. about no shitting? i definitely i keep a stack of paper plates as well what is, okay. is this like I'm a thing brits speechless. don't do why is, why is, hold, 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 i, I want to know why this plates? is a problem i think this talk? goes back to like the rolled pants thing as well so wait was there what's the rolled pants thing the what do you mean? We, you were here there for that discussion last night. I don't remember. They probably anyways. legally can't have paper goods over there. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's uh, where it's like hanging your pants versus yeah, rolling them up. Oh, Just the rolled pants thing. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah, okay. I thought, I, like, I was, I, when you said that, I was thinking like rolled cuffs on the pants. Oh, which yeah, is yeah, like yeah. That okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, no, but paper plates are convenient. They're not that expensive for a plate, so it's like, you know, why not? Because you're cheap, and I thought, you know, actually washing up would, you know, what it's just like it's so bizarre. It's, I know I'm cheap, but the thing is, they're kind of cheap, and also it just like time is money, right? It's, it's just, yeah. And what the fuck are you doing with your time? <laughs> he's, he's doing nothing with his time, exactly. Get Here we go. Okay, dishes. okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's, hate, on, it's hate on it's Devin hate. night. Well, anyway, he, gonna, also I'm like I don't want to hear any environmental bullshit because like sea turtles are racist. Right, fuck the turtles. So true. So if you, so if you um if you grill out, if you grill out, fuck the turtles. Turtles. What? What? Huh? That's weird. Huh? Okay, weird, weird direction. To take that. Anyways, what was that, Tim? I was just saying, if you're if you're grilling or cooking outside, something like that, like if you're just hanging out in the yard. Yeah. You know, yards being big stretches of grass that we own, British person, just so you're just so we're clear. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. It's not like I have acres. That's okay. Please do educate me on this. Damn, she's got she's got acres. Oh, you got acreage, do you? Yes. Damn. Based. Damn. Not kind of based. Thank you. But yeah, paper Pastures. plates are the go to for paper plate. Outdoor. Yeah, they're fine for like parties, Absolutely. but like that's that that makes sense. Outdoors, you know. Don't anything broken yeah. or smashed, so paper plates. It's it's, it's like right having now, them like, like just for normal like meals. Congregating and there's going to be children around. You don't want to bring out your fine china for that. That's paper plates mm. all day. Yeah. I I do have to uh, bring up the fact that old boy is still cheap with his paper plate usage. Yeah, oh, I no, reuse don't. them sometimes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, oh, I at least go the other way around. I double stack the paper plates and then throw them both away. Uh, well, see, I mean, we don't buy like the real, because like, you know, the really, really floppy, like just thin paper ones that like just fold immediately. We don't buy those. We like we buy ones that have some structure to them. Um, no, I do that too, but I still use because I'm a wasteful. Okay, that's fine. I, I, I find that usually like unless the something's really, really wet or something, it doesn't usually have any issue holding it. Uh, but like the thing is, sometimes you eat something that's like really dry, like you make a sandwich, for example, and it's like there's basically nothing on the plate itself. That's reusable. I just throw it in the fridge and then I use it for the next the next meal. You throw the paper plate in the fridge, right? Just in case there's like any like maybe like maybe a little mayo drift on the plate or something that like I don't want to go like go off, right? So, you know what? I'm a, I'm actually gonna give you a pass if it's like a leftover part of the sandwich, and as long as it hasn't soaked through the plate, and you want to saran wrap it and put it in the fridge, I got no problem with that. I'm okay. With I mean, that. I don't. Yeah, whatever. Either way, I mean, 
it's just it's just the way it's just a way to ensure that a plate gets maybe double use it's like oh maybe maybe one meal i have a sandwich i eat the sandwich but the plate's still good so maybe the next meal i have uh i don't know like i have a slice of pizza and it's like oh i can just microwave it on top of that same plate it's not gonna hurt anything of all the Devin takes ever this is one of them (laughs) what's your what's your reservation here huh what's what's your issue uh paper plates are low class Jesus, are, are you see? Do you do? I think I've asked you this before, but like, do you do that rich person thing of like not taking leftovers at all? Because oh no 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 no, definitely do that. But I put them on real plates made of actual like you know materials. Yeah. I'm... Well, while, while we're on the topic of real plates, where are we at on the metal tray pill? The metal tray pill. Yeah, because we were talking about that uh, on putting putting food because you know like if you ever go into like a lot of newer hip restaurants like gastropubs will do this where you right. go in the in for instead of a plate they give you like a quarter sheet pan right as like your plate and usually still has parchment paper on top of it or whatever because i don't, don't hate it. it yeah it, it's it's uh, got to be like a barbecue place though well for barbecue it makes a lot of sense yeah but even for like burger places i've seen it, or chicken places i've seen it um yeah no i hate it I, I kind of get it because i feel like that square shape's a little bit easier to actually like fit into a sink and wash and stuff and they're sturdy, right? You can use them for baking too, if you want to. If you, if you like, if you're gonna make something that's hot in a single serving, you could put put it on in the oven on that one quarter sheet pan and then just eat off of it too. You know, like, um, I don't know. I I, I think it's a good idea. Maybe if maybe if we took the quarter sheet pan pill, right? Maybe we would just use that instead of plates or paper plates. Maybe that would solve all the problems here. See, I'm, I'm a big fan of the basket, though. You get like the, uh, the, the square, like a square basket thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You get that uh, at burger joints. Um, yeah. Yeah. Fish action sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, where it's like, it's like the, the basket with holes in it, and they just do the... Uh, Stuff it with newspaper or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's good. Big, big, big basket guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like, I feel like that's always a good sign for like, attendee meal for yeah being a basket yeah he, he's right like like little like mom and pop like burger stands are big on that as well yeah i'm mean, even okay with it being a wire basket like i'm fine mm. i don't think i've ever well, seen as a long wire as it has basket. structural integrity and like, stuff yeah it's not like real water but if it's or wire i'm sorry water but it's made from like a metal basket but has the same paper stuff i'm okay with that too yeah i just always call them wire baskets mm. yeah no i like that well, anyways, uh, just all to say that we went, you know, we got our paper plates, we got our paper goods at Costco. We got muffins. Tony got bagels, right? Um, let's yeah. see. What else did we get? Really? Uh, why, why the interest in bagels? He's I York. like bagels. Is that a problem? He's from New York. You get back to your roots? N- New York. That's I'm sorry. Do you not like bagels? Yeah. Yeah, what's the heat? What's the heat here with bagels, Tim? I don't have a problem with bagels. Okay, carry on. <laughs> okay, bagels are good. Okay, tense, like tense tense bagel bagel. Bagel. nice okay. toasted oh, bagel delicious. butter. Like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you do it just like a plain? Let, let me guess. Plain bagel with butter. I I literally just a toast <laughs> just bagel that, butter. Yeah, yeah that's I delicious. Just to throw a plain bagel to. Wouldn't now, want to take, like, you know anything. Of course, the best bagel topping is cream cheese, sometimes with like jalapeno no, or like I mean, like lox no. or whatever. Boo! But... Boo! Well, what do you think it is, Tay? Huh? What's your cream? Your butter, uh... butter and toasted. Oh. oh my god, that's lame. No, okay. butter is cringe and wrong. Yeah, cream cheese, dog. Cream cheese. Sometimes no, you get... have to go with Taylor on this one. Uh, okay, there's the tiebreaker. Like thing. There's the tiebreaker. Sorry, buddy. Food matter less than Tony's. Y'all have been y'all have been outvoted. Okay, well, a British vote, a British vote for food is actually like an inverse, right? It's Why like is that? double for whatever she votes. In. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, what did he mean by that? Hmm. I mean, what British did he mean by that? What did he mean? Oh, sure. I, 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 mean? I was pretty clear on. <laughs> okay, what well, this this mean? British slander is uh, okay, it, it, any, good. Any, I've got any can we just get to the food court okay like i mean aside from that stuff i got some uh korean soy garlic chicken in the frozen section they had a very interesting because they had those like reese's like animal crackers before or whatever in the snack section but this time they also had uh frozen banana chunks that were covered in both chocolate and reese's peanut butter and so i got those they're pretty good um and then uh naturally checked out uh Hit the food court because that's half the reason you go to the Costco. Oh, I also got a rotisserie chicken. But anyways, hit the food court and, you know, we had to load up. 
it'll load up. So personally, I got three glizzies to eat over the ensuing days, uh, a chicken bake, a slice of pizza, and a smoothie to drink then and there. I didn't eat any of the food because I was still full from Gus's, and I had leftovers from that too. But uh, so for the past however many like three or four days since going there, I've just been eating all these leftovers. So it's been fun. Uh, Tony, what'd you get? What'd you get at the food court this time? I got a glizzy, a whole pepperoni pizza, and their new cookie. Yeah. With the cookie, which replaced the churro, by the way. And so what, what right. were your thoughts on the cookie? I thought it was quite good. Now, I didn't eat it until we got back. But I do think uh, it is it is notably 250 It's like one of their most expensive items. You know, a little yeah. bit cringe, but overall, pretty solid cookie. It's, you know, very large. Yeah. And it's... Uh, it's it's like a hot gooey chocolate chip cookie. Those those are pretty hard to fuck up. So yeah, it does seem like it'd be good, but yeah, like two fifty for that's a little rough. When like the giant Sunday cup, for example, if you want a dessert item, is cheaper, you know, like um, or you can get like just the giant box of cookies in the bakery section for nine ninety nine or whatever. So like I don't know. It's but I you know, I appreciate that they have it. I just I wish they'd kept the churro. <laughs> I like the churro. Um, but anyways, yeah, classic trip to uh. The Costco. Uh, so those two, those two big kind of trips this week kind of dominated the the dining out stuff. So uh, that was our weekend food. Um, now I was gonna ask Tay what he had, but since Lottie's here, I was gonna ask what she had too. Uh. So this in the past week, have you well, had any? Well, have you considered foods? that oh, okay. she's British, so she doesn't know what food is? <laughs> okay. Yes, this is, this is very true. No, but we, in the past week or so, have you had anything interesting to eat? Uh, have you perhaps had a Greg sausage roll? No, no, I haven't. I had a bagel, went out um, to a place called Muffin Break. A bit of Nando's? No, unfortunately, no cheeky Nando's, but you know. Uh, I would I like to try Nando's in a while. If I, what is, if I ever do go over there, I'm trying that. What is Nando's? Peri -peri it's, 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 they, they do like chicken with peri peri sauce. It sounds good, but anyways. Uh, uh, so you had, you had a bagel. I had, had a bagel. Um, had a bagel. That bagel. was the thing that CM Punk was big on buying the boys with the, his last night in AEW and the thing at Wembley. I see. Oh. Well, okay. Okay. Wrestling cringe aside. Um. Hi, what? Uh, I was just trying of, to make it make sense today. Sorry. Okay. What kind of what kind of bagel did you have? It was just a sausage, egg, and cheese. Oh, like a bagel, bagel sandwich. Sandwich. What type yeah. of bagel do you do? Plain or do you do a flavored one? Uh, unfortunately, it was this one's just a plain one. I didn't. We didn't get many That's options. But... If it's a, if it's a good bagel, plain could still be fine. You know, like it was, it was okay. I wouldn't. It, I wouldn't like rave yeah. home about it. But well, the fact that there's toppings also like as a sandwich, right? That helps. Mm. You know. It's a little um, bagel action. Anything else this week? Kind of. I feel like there has, but it's just slipping my mind. Yeah. So not. Mm. Hey, that's the that's the food chat struggle. This is this is very true. I feel on the spot, but the thing is, on Sunday, potential trip to the, the Beefy Boys. Yeah, mm. the, the burger place. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Their food so. honestly does look good. Like I hate them for the name thing, but their food looks. Have, pretty good. have you considered like just killing them for us? <laughs> you see, <laughs> they're a little, bit, a little bit large now, so it'd be yeah. quite difficult to just. Well, you that that the and that and uh, yeah. you need you need a license to kill people over there. So, ah, uh, this is yeah. very true. I see what you did there. License to kill 007. Yeah, That's yeah. I know. It's also they just literally need a license. Yeah, I, I definitely intended that and wasn't just making a license joke. <laughs> joke. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, that sounds good. Uh, their food looks good. I would. I do. I've had it before. Um, well, I had it. They do so. They drive around different pubs sometimes. Um, so on the first Thursday of every month, they drive around to a place near my old well, work. Drinkers are gay, so <laughs> real. Okay. But well, people just go specifically for this place because there's a van yeah. and they make the good food. So I feel like maybe instead aspect. of instead of killing them, maybe we should just go to the UK and form a partnership with them somehow. Right. No, they should just pay us for using our name. Well, like That's they true. they sponsor us, which is kind of the same thing, right? Ooh. And well, who also, was first? We were us. By yeah, many, when, many when, when, when was their chain founded? Let's see. Which is pretty interesting. This. I'm giving it a look. 
We are four mates who started mucking about cooking burgers and barbecuing in our back gardens and here forward about 10 years ago. Okay, but when did they actually register their brand is what I'm right. curious about. The Beefy Boys, an award-winning burger, beer, and cocktail restaurant in Hereford, uh, UK, was founded in 2011. Oh, okay, fuck. All right. All right, well... Shit. I, I, I well, made the name Beefy Boys in, what, 2015 or something during a schism? 16. So. Yeah, but we spiritually had it first. That's true. Right. We were beefy before they were. Yeah, the seed of what would be Beefy Boys, right, was the, within this, me all The along. beefy seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beefy seed. <laughs> beef Some seed. beefy seed in you? <laughs> oh, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, well, is that, your week, is that your week in food, Lottie? Nothing else going on? Nothing? Uh, mm-hmm. I, th- I think I'm so sorry for disappointment. Maybe no, maybe it's, next it, time. It's fine. Uh-huh. Some not you know not everybody on the show always has like a crazy food week. Um, like me. I like to make sure everybody's got all. To... Yeah, so we, okay, so that's a good segue then, Tay. Yeah. What did you have? Well, let's see. Last Sunday, Cinco de Mayo had a. I don't know why I did a Midwest, Midwestern accent for that. Because <laughs> that's uh, that's who we know who makes the best like tacos, right? Right, it's just authentic. uh you know someone from Minnesota, yeah? Yeah, it's uh I mean good to have, fuck all right, fuck it. Okay. Um Yeah, that was just complete yeah, bumble on Minnesota. My... Um Brock Lesnar. Uh Tiffany Stratton. But also Brock Lesnar. Hey, but you allowed to talk about him? Um that's true. That's true. Anyways, no, they're, they're bringing him back up. Free my man, Brock. Yeah, hashtag free Brock. Anyway, uh, let's see. Yeah, did did tacos very good? Uh, just yeah, kind of crunchy, you know. Mm. Let's see. What else did I do? <sighs> nothing. Nothing that much. It's been, you know. Hey, the diet. It's happening. Yep. I was gonna say there was there was some there was some donuts today. Oh. Yeah, there was some donuts that appeared at my house. I wasn't happy about it. Uh, did I eat two of them? Yeah. Was I happy about it? Uh, yeah. Uh, also, yeah. So, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, yeah. You got to be flexible with these things, right? You know? Right. Now, you gotta what, roll the what brand of donut are we talking here? They were from Donut Palace, right? Which Donut Palace is a... Uh, the Donut Palace. N- yeah. I think there's a chain called Donut Palace or something, but it's not... This is different. There is. I believe it's near us. Yeah, yeah we yeah. have a Donut Palace in Maryville. I don't think I don't same, think... But... Yeah, I don't think it's part of that chain, though. I think this is just like an independent thing. Um, it's very good. They, they not only do donuts, but they also do like, uh, like breakfast stuff as well. Like they do collages and stuff, which are, oh my God, delicious. Anyway. So yeah, you know, had to, had to force gun to my head, you know, can't, can't help it. Uh, that was good. What was really good though, was, uh, over the weekend and there's going to be a little segue here. I, uh, went into town. Yeah. No? We had day in the park, right? Did you go to town? Huh? Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause the game real quick. Um. <laughs> yeah. So I. Because uh, I gotta pull this up on screen. I. I went to day in the park. We. I'm not sharing my screen. Oh. Uh, day in the park. By the way. F- FYI. By the way. Is a. Here we go. Yearly event that we have every Mayish, early Mayish here in Laurel, um, and it's uh, it's just like a little mini fair in the park. There's not like rides or anything, but there's just like stuff for kids, like you know, petting zoos, face painting. Um, it's sponsored by the Laurel Art League, so there's like a lot of art stuff. Um, like for instance, mm-hmm. um, let's see, where is it on the thing here? I can find it. A lot of these pictures weren't very good because I was like very like you, they say like taking pictures is like riding a bike. It's not, right? Because I feel like riding a bike, you either do it or you don't. Yeah, Photography, you can fuck up and you like you're still technically doing it, but you're, you know, it kind of yeah. So um they had like a bunch of art stuff for like students and, and, and everything. Um, which is pretty cool. These were I'm not sure what what's What's going on here? <laughs> well, what's happening? What's happening with this weird. ice spice looking bitch? Yeah, I don't know. It's... Um, there was a lot of Taylor Swift's actually. If I can, let me see if I can find it. Interesting. Well, that just tracks. That tracks for hometown. Low. That's just a tighter. Um. Oh, there were actually some f- people had taken photos, and I wasn't <laughs> sure what the like qualification of these photos was because this is like not a good photo. 
It's not a bad, like not. It's not an unappealing no, photo though. It's like it's, it's not as good as this one. I don't think. But this well, one's I think, I think what we're what we're talking about here is your preference of subject matter because Maybe. the gnome, like like it's not poorly composed from what I can see. And it's like, right. It's 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 a whimsical photo of a little gnome I, guy. I guess. I guess. Yeah. It's not maybe yeah you're right. It, the editing not, looks tasteful. It's not you know whatever anyway. Yeah. Oh uh oh, Mr. Skellington. Uh oh. We got a Kirby. We got a Corgi. Hey, hey. Lottie. There you go. Got a blue yeah. Corgi. Sorry. Did hey. that did that shittily drawn Kirby get an award? Was this like the children's section? Uh, Second place. Yeah. But like the way these events work, right? Isn't it like this like, got first place of, by the way? Like tons of. Can't tons of people get these awards though? Like it's not exclusive. Yeah, I mean, there's there's like a couple of second places. In yeah. fact, I think every well, not everyone got an award, but like it's one of those things where a bunch of people get awards. So, yeah, I mean, it's not. Thanks, Biden. yeah, whatever. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Barack Obama. Um, what is this I, one with like the? It's like a. It's next to the, to the right of the Corgi. This is like, what is that supposed to be? Uh oh, you you don't know what that is? Is that Dune? Yeah. L L L whatever the fuck I can't remember the name of it. Yeah, it's Dune. It's the worm. That's oh, that's supposed to be the worm. Okay, uh, that's Paul weird, Atreides. That's, weird, that's weirdly Mama rendered. Atreides. Uh, worm. What okay. is the worm? Yeah, what is the worm called? Uh, Gerard. It's the sandworm. Uh, it's it's like y Yehud something. Uh, whatever. Shai Shai Hulud. Shai Hulud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shai yeah, Hulud. Yeah. That's Shai Hulud. Where's the fucking teeth at? I don't know. It's a, it's an, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, artistic interpretation. Okay. Uh huh. Interpretation. Anyway, I want to give a quick shout out to this actually, which is not at all the point of the photo, but Cassie's confections right back here. All right, they have chocolate dipped cheesecake slices. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just saying, yes, yes, I did. So, um. Yeah, there was a bunch of there was a bunch of other fun stuff. Just you know, just people just people hanging out, you know. I want to give a quick yeah. shout out to this guy because he is locked in on yeah. filming with his camera for some reason. So he, shout he out to that a tiny Billy. He honestly looks a tiny bit like Pigeon if Pigeon was like I thought yeah, if Pigeon was fatter and uglier, I was like, yeah, that that could be Pigeon. I wanted to give a shout out also to this guy right here, right? Um, because yeah. after I I'd, I'd gone over there taking a picture of like the concert or whatever. He he kept like looking at me, right? And oh. I I like that drives me up a fucking wall, right? And other <laughs> photographers here who shoot who have shot like events, I think y'all can back me up on this. Like, there's nothing more annoying than the person that just like keeps looking at you, not saying oh, okay. anything, just keeps looking. So I I'm kind of standoffish. I think we know this about me. Yeah, so I just hit him I with like the the what 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 right? See, okay okay. Well, I mean, you know me, dog. You know me. <laughs> that's like that's like inciting conflict, though. There's no yes, need for that. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm not trying to fight some dweeby kid who's just, like is uncomfortable with the cameras. I don't. Know. I am. Well, then, hold on, hold on. Let's let's finish let's finish the okay, story here. Okay. So he gets up, and I'm like, "Fuck yes!" You know, I was ready to take my shirt off and everything. I'm like, well, "Let's do Jesus. this." Okay. And he goes, "Oh, I was just admiring your rig, man." I was like, "Oh." Oh, okay. He, Thank he's, you. He's a fan of riggers. I well, then I said, I was like, oh, you photographer too? And he was like, yeah, yeah. He said, I'm Sony though. And I went, oh, okay. Well, get mm. out of my, get out of my presence, trash. Yeah. And he, mm. he well, you know, you know how, you know how brand rivalries are. He thought it was mm. funny and he said, it's okay. I use Sigma lenses. And I went, oh, okay. Well, there we go. Okay. At least the lenses are. You so, know. so shout out to this guy, whatever your name is. I hope, uh, I hope your photography works out well. So. Yeah, uh, just a bunch of fun. There was this kid, this girl here. Let me see if I have a better picture of her. Well, better is a relative phrase, I guess. Um, yeah, she was like singing like Katy Perry songs and not oh, great. She was oh. okay. She was she was good <laughs> enough for like you know a small town little concert in the middle of uh, a park in you know a shitty little town, but. Um, I really like this was probably my favorite picture. I like this one a there's, lot. There's one, uh, a couple of images later with the, with the guy with his arm behind the bench. Uh, it's like uh, you mean this one? I th I thought uh, though I think there's oh, one other sorry. that you took the second one, one where it's like, yeah, that one. I, I like that one. That's not bad. A fair bit. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's you know, it's just good to get out and be in public and yeah, take people. Some pics, you know, look at let me look at everyone's having a whole a bunch of fun here, right? Yeah. 
Uh, out, that, it does not look like they're having fun. <laughs> he does. She doesn't. She doesn't. But that's ty- that's typical. You know, that's typical. Yeah. Like, first off, it was very hot. It was very muggy. I made the mistake of wearing jeans and boots. So yeah. I got I got gassed real quick. So I, I won't What's be making going on with the neon shirt in the back left. That What's is an excellent there? question. Yeah, I uh, don't know. I can't answer that question, honestly. And I you know, if even if I could, I don't know if I want to. Um, I did yeah. want to shout out this woman, right? Kind of like a tiny milf thing going on. Big mm. fan, big fan. Nice. Uh, this guy was literally trying to sell a Kia. Shout out to him. Based. Um, this I don't guy know was... why you get rid of your Kia, but okay. Night butcher. Huh? Huh? I, I said I don't know why you'd try to get rid of a Kia. Oh, is he a sale? Because he works for Laurel Kia. Is that even a Kia? Not... Isn't that a Ford logo on his? Yes, shirt? but they sell Kias and Lincolns. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. However, when you didn't <laughs> lead with that, and as long as I, I can see the it fucking time. It's a tiny logo on his shirt. I thought You're, he was like a private I, citizen I, 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 trying to sell. Definitely a blue oval is what I saw. Yeah, thank you. Uh, okay, the Ford logo again, not Kia, anyways. Anyway, so I saw it was like a private because that would be funnier if it's just a private guy trying to sell a car. The thing, anyway. I'm a big fan anyway. that like this look is coming back, right? Like the Are mustache you? with like kind of a full mullet and a hat. Like that was a big look, like when my dad was like our age, you know. And I'm glad that's coming back, right? Mm. What? 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 Oh, you just don't like his hair. I'm not a fan. I hate people who do this, by the way. Right? Like she, she saw me out of the corner of her eye, right? And she was like, she's like, oh, I don't want someone to take. It's like, then you shouldn't be in public. A stupid bitch. And Taffy, Taffy sucks, honestly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Do not use this as a chance to disparage Taffy. Taffy's garbage. I do have a problem with ten dollar tat. Ah, uh, well, that's Barack I, Obama's yeah, that, America. That box better be full to the fucking brim. There better it be is. no airspace oh, in that is. box. Oh, it is. It is. Trust me, it is. Yeah, okay. it's insanely cheap. To- yeah, so. yeah, it's just it's literally just flavored sugar. That's anyway, like we a particular way. we had some oh, good cool. times. Uh, my arch enemy was there. Um, actually, two of my yeah. arch enemies were there. So, these fat girls? <laughs> oh no! Oh fuck! Oh, <laughs> hold on! No, 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 hold on! I my my headphones are off. My headphones are off. I had to step away. I just realized something. Holy oh. shit. Holy fucking oh. shit. I just realized something when I said that. All right, let me see. It's in it's it must in. be a, it must be a big realization because you did like the thing that black people do when they see a magic trick. It's like <laughs> like you had that reaction. This this po- photo, right? This wasn't this is yeah. this is literally just a snapshot, by the way. Uh-huh. I want to take y'all back in time for a second. Okay. Well, to, before you do I'm so sorry, lads. I'm going to have to depart, but it, okay. I can't wait to hear the rest of this. Well, yeah. Sleep time. All right. Well, hey, every, everyone, a hey, round of applause for Lottie. Thanks for being here tonight. Look forward to, hey, very soon we Here's. will be having her uh, BL segment, probably next week. Yeah. I look forward to it. All right. Hell yeah. Good, Good night, night, Lottie. Good night. All right. Devin said, something about, Devin said something about black people, so she had to leave before she got arrested. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let me go. Let's go back in time. The year, 2006. The place, literally this exact spot literally almost to the foot this exact spot okay same event day in the park Uh uh-huh working a gig Mm. you know you all know this this is the story all right working a gig sitting there right guide him Friend of, friend of my right, he's working the he's working the board right. We, we you know we're doing our stuff. Big old girl, big old girl, waddles by and sits down next to the tent. I lean over, I you know I hit him with the back of the hand, you know the back of the hand to the chest. You know how boys are, right? And I go, hey, check out the whale, <laughs> Taylor. That's my girlfriend. Mm. Last time I ever spoke to him. That man? That song bitch guy. right that song bitch right there. That song <laughs> bitch right there. I'm not I'm not even joking. And when I when I when cause when I saw him there, because like we don't talk anymore. We've we have like briefly spoken, but we don't we're like not close. We're not really even on speaking terms. When right. I saw him over there, I was like, oh, that's so and so, right? And I was like, uh, okay, I'm gonna take a picture just so I can double check. And I, I realized it was because he like he wears these like 
stupid like skin like not even skinny jeans just like narrow legged jeans with these stupid like grandpa shoes right yeah anyway and i was just like oh that's probably him i'll, I'll take a picture and check it later but it wasn't until like a couple of days ago and then just now that i really put it together i was like holy shit that was 18 years to the day mm. since that incident since the incident same place same park same event same everything <sighs> that's what hey that's that bitch there <laughs> you know what hold on i i thought this and i don't know for certain i don't think I can't see her. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> this girl was sitting there the entire time. Okay. I don't. I don't know. 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 Like I don't. I don't think it's her because I'm pretty sure. Like that was 18 years ago. He, he's not married or anything, so mm. surely not. But this girl was sitting right there, front and center, the whole time I was there. Like I. I came here first made a couple of laps eight you know a sausage dog by the way that's to to polish that one off yes. sausage dog um no it wasn't that good um it wasn't as good as the one i had at the fair in october and i'm actually looking forward to that one again if i'm still here so but she was here the whole time like i came back i was like surely she's gone by now nope she's still there i don't know and there is an empty chair there next to her and no one else was sitting there the entire time either so i, I don't know 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 I'm just saying he definitely had a type. So could it have been a different fat chick? And should I have gone up to him and said, Hey, who's the whale? <laughs> just to kind of, just to kind of yeah. like, you know, two decades later, loop it back around. Uh -huh. um, these photos didn't end up well because um, they were just kind of blurry, but this dog did lick me on the mouth directly. Mm -hmm. He just literally walked right up to me and licked me on the face. <laughs> and you know what? Given my circumstances here for the past couple of months, I needed it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, I, I needed it. So, um, yeah. Rest in peace, of course. But yeah, yeah. no. Uh, uh yes, yeah, so these were my rejectors. They weren't very good. But yeah, no. Uh, Security officer. We uh, no. That's just a straight up cop. Oh okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I oh, had a. Cool. Uh, yeah, we got twelve. We got twelve over here, just kind of doing his thing. You know. I see. Yeah, no, it was it was fun. I should have I like I said I got gassed pretty early on. Uh, should have worn shorts. Uh, I did learn my lesson. It was just it wasn't hot because that's was I I checked the weather and was like oh upper seventies yeah that's dude bro like yeah jeans, that humidity starts pretty early in the season bro je here. jeans weather is like up to like mid eighty mid upper eighties right and I mean honestly like if I have to work in jeans I mean it obviously whatever temperature but I mean casually like yeah mid mid 80s so i was like oh upper 70s bro yeah we got this and i got there and i was like oh i've made a mistake i made him i yeah. made a vast yeah. error in judgment mm -hmm. um so but yeah we we had a good time these guys are pretty good throw them back up on screen um they were from william carey which is a uh college a little bit to the south of us they weren't bad they were doing an instrumental of wayward son which was actually not bad. Yeah, no, it was actually fun. It was fun. Uh, I hadn't, I haven't been to an event in like a month or so because of just like stuff hasn't really worked out, and I ended up not really just you know wanting to, I guess. But um, yeah, yeah, we we had a we had a good time. We had a good time. So, oh, we we lose the uh, White House pot. Did uh. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just asking because I thought maybe you did. It. Why? <laughs> Did it crash? I I told it to fuck off. Huh? Huh? That's that's oh. well, no. Like, yeah, I guess it crashed. I don't know. Discord sucks. Like, let, yeah, let's let's have that conversation there for a second. Okay. Can we talk about how Discord like sucks now? Oh yeah, Discord's pretty shit. Discord is kind of like garbo, and honestly, like if there's like a reckoning, you know, at any point, uh -huh. where we have to like leave and go back to like, I'm personally in favor of going back to raid call myself yeah. not a raid call guy there's like a lot of really good alternatives now though right like there's like several several programs that are pretty much feature uh complete that are 
pretty much mirrors of Discord at this point, right? Uh, Gilded being the foremost. Well, it's Gilded, and there's like there's Gilded. like what there's was it Rocket or whatever? There's like that one, and there's Rocket, like a couple not going to Rocket, but but there's like also a couple others that I posted about in our like Technoid channel before that I forgot the names of, but there's been like a lot over the years, and also that uh, that like that like Foss reconstruction of Discord is getting progress, so there's definitely like alternatives out there. Um, which also, since we're talking about alternatives, I did want to bring up, we discovered the other day that finally Twitter spaces are fully functional on desktop. Yeah. Which is like kind of a revelation because I think that could be fun for shit stirring if nothing else, right? Uh, and yeah, I, I think I think there's a uh, avenue for like a different form of content right. via spaces. I, I like, I don't really know what, but I think it could even now, be like a... Let me pitch this. Let me pitch this. Friday nights after dark or whatever it's called on spaces. Hmm. Maybe. I can see that being interesting. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to, we'll have to workshop what we're going to do with it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, that's definitely that's something cool. that's going to have to be like uh, a long format discussion, honestly. Even if maybe on a space. It's, it's, even if nothing else, it's nice because there's been times where I've listened to a space or two and it's like, wow, this would be cool if I could use all the features on desktop and now I can. Whereas yeah. like in the past, it's like you have to use you had to be like a mobile cuck, I almost, which I fucking hate that. I hate that so bad when it's like anything is like mobile exclusive. Like that's it's just a shit way to use computers, right? Like I don't want to be on a tiny little brick. I, I almost wanna... feel like anything we did in the space uh, space, I guess, would have to be like appealing to an entirely different audience with a different yeah. type of like stuff and maybe even like and i know how much we hate it but you know you, you got to do things you hate if you want to make it um maybe even like trend chasing or whatever like mm -hmm. i don't know i have no idea um i was thinking like maybe like even try and like crib some sort of fit fish tank stuff or whatever maybe yeah, i don't know we're, something we're there in enough in the future um that could be I have heard some rumors about fish tank i won't say them but yeah. i've heard some rumors and if true very excited yeah, well, very we'll excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll so, see. um, yeah. All right. Well, what? What? You know, what else? What else? What else we got? What else? Well, we I got? think that covers everything we discussed besides the the uh, Google Maps stuff. Oh, the Google Earth thing. You know, let me let me finish off this, and then we'll get to that. So, okay. till then, what 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 else we got going on? What 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 what, what, what are we doing? What did like? What do, uh, no, 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 no. Y'all aren't hearing me. Like, what's what's going on? You know what I mean? Like what? What? Mm. What's happening? Right? What do Hades we? Hades two came out. If anyone's a fan of Hades one, that's a that's a that's a trans game. No, big hate, big Hades guy. No, it's a trans yeah. game. It's no, a okay, so it's the guy playing a tranny game right now. Is no, me. it's it's an extremely right wing coded game. Big okay, Hades, anyways, big Hades guy. I have Hades yeah, one well, installed on my PC. I should play it at some point because I know it's a pretty. It's very good. It's hey, just, it seems um, like the sort of thing I'd enjoy. Anyone but. upset? Uh, anyone upset? I called it a training game. 601-651-0519. Yeah. Call me an asshole to my face. Yeah, you can call him now. You can call him later and leave a message. Leave a voice or mail? you can yeah. also comment below. But if you're calling in to call it a training game, I'm going to call you a stupid son bitch either to your face or, you know, the next live show. Let me get yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, speaking of, you want to do like a quick backlash segment backlash wrestling cringe oh well i do hate france we do hate france all right all right hold on pause pause for editing hey how about backlash this weekend boys don't all jump in at once you're good y'all are y'all are backlash? I love, what's that i love i the dramatic pause really helped thank you Backlash? What's that? Thank you, person who doesn't even actually watch wrestling, for asking. Yeah, I get, sure get wish get one this. of the wrestling people would talk about it. Grapplash. Oh, is that is that the thing? That's the thing. All right. So let's let's first and foremost let's address the elephant in the room, okay? And not the not the fat chick from Day in the Park eighteen years ago. Hello. Um, the elephant. The elephant. All right, that son of a bitch literally just crashed again. All right, uh, that's that's all right. Never that mind. Fall, yeah. Never mind, ladies and gentlemen. Phone lines are down. Fuck it. Um, because our the Discord bot that we used to run it is just not working. Um, yeah. So that's the first thing we need to address: the crowd, right? 
So like we were saying earlier, at what point did they go into business for themselves and why was it Friday night? So I went back and rewatched a, a bit of this, right? So like, obviously they, they were hot for smack. Yeah. I, I really liked the SmackDown, but then I think it was the Jay Uso entrance at backlash was the turning. I don't remember that one. The Jay Uso, and I, I had to go back and watch it because I was traveling at the time. But the uh, the Jay Uso entrance, where they had the cell phones with the, as as Jay himself said, the fireflies bobbing up and down to his song. That yeah, looks cool as shit. It looked really good. Why have they started doing the fireflies for Jay Uso? We don't really know, but apparently it started in France. Like that, they're the ones who started doing it. Feels and sacrilegious. Jay, Jay Uso said himself that it felt like Bray Wyatt was there with him. Like it was his first time ever seeing the Firefly. Okay. Well, all right. Well, well, yeah. Okay. If they, if they think it's okay. All right. Fine. So, he, so Jay Uso shouted out Bray Wyatt. He said it was really emotional. Like it felt like Bray was right there with me seeing. Okay. That was kind of cool. But okay. I thought after that, they just, after that, they were just 100% marking out for themselves. Yeah. Especially during. The main event, which oh. got it got annoying. It honestly got annoying, like super annoying. You could tell, though, that AJ Styles in particular was overcome. You could tell he was trying to hold together his bad guy face. Yeah, because it was it was it was comical. The French well, are historically like, silly little guys. Had, he's never had anything like that happen for him before. Sure. Like he's had people cheer for him, but never like he's never had anybody sing for him. Right. He doesn't really have a, a sing thing. Right, right. But then, but then, like you said, they started singing that bullshit every time he started like getting heat on Cody. Right. Yeah, that, that's when it started getting... It was funny at first, and I was like, oh, haha, you know. And then the hundredth time, it was like, can y'all please shut the fuck up? They did learn the words to Kingdom, though, so we'll give them their, we'll give them their props to that. Which is funny, because, yeah, I mean, I was doing the, you know, da-na-na, da-na-na, something, something, Cody Rhodes. Yeah, you know, as we all do. Yeah. Right. Adrenaline what do you, what do you, whoa, 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 whoa. What Rhodes. do you mean, right? You didn't, you don't right. fucking know what we're talking about. I was just agreeing. Sing Kingdom. Sing Kingdom. I have a gun to your head, Devin. Sing Kingdom. Oh, kingdom, here we come. It's the kingdom of oh, wrestling. Jesus <laughs> That's the song. That's the song. Okay. All right. Um, overall, that was it was a decent match, though, hey, bro, I thought. The, where's the beef bell? There it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. God dang it. Anyways, good match. Um, I, I didn't mind the bloodline match. So the new one's Tongaloa? Yeah. Uh, Tom, Tom, uh, well, actually, it doesn't list it here on the Wikipedia page. Well, here's a fun fact about Tongaloa. He's fucking older than me. No shit. And making his debut. Interesting. Well, I don't, I don't think he'll, uh, be doing anything solo. I think he's purely a side piece to go with the new Bloodline story. Little surprised we haven't seen Tama Tonga yet. What do you mean? We've literally seen Tama Tonga. The, no, the other one. I'm sorry. Fuck. Um, Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu. Yeah, that one. How do we he think he's? Jackie how do we think he's going to fit in? Because this one, Owen Werewolf. Because I think at this point, adding any more to like Solo's thing would be a little bit overkill. That was the theory that I heard that I liked. Um, was the Roman comes back, sees what's happened. And he's like, I gotta dip into my bag of tricks and get the craziest some bitch I know in the bloodline, and calls Jacob Fatu. Right, because I so like Jacob Fatu comes out as a fucking like murderous wreck, but on the babyface side. Right, because I was thinking like maybe we get like an USO reunion right later in the year, and you have the USOs and Jacob Fatu versus Solo and these two jabronis. Well, do, the thing with like uh, with uh, Tang T Tonga Lo or whatever is uh, he is really bad in the ring, like really, really bad. So it's entirely possible, like 
yeah, he's there, but he might just be like end up being a four guy who's there. He just doesn't do anything kind of deal. I see. He is almost exactly a year older than me. He's 41. Just Wait. turned 41 yesterday. He was fact. Camacho? Yeah. Oh, my. I remember. Oh, that sucked so bad. That was that was a terrible gimmick. Who, oh, God, and Hunico. Ugh. Oh, he was he was one of the Sin Caras as well. Oh, dog. What a clusterfuck. Yeah, I remember he yeah, he was not good. And I, you're saying he hasn't gotten better? Uh, there's a lot of clips of what he did over in Japan, and it's kind of like, wow, this is embarrassing. Hmm. We need to just bring back Ming, the Minger, or Haku, right. as you would know him. We had uh, Bailey, Naomi, and Tippy time. Not going to lie, didn't watch it. But I know one of you I did, because you're big Tippy time uh, guy. Tippy time, Tippy time owns. Just put the belt on her already. Naomi, she sucks. I'm sorry, I don't like her. That feels racist. And uh, Bailey, I, I don't know, man. Bailey is, she's Bailey. Let's, let's all Bailey's good. Like she can, she can work. She can talk. She's good. She's kind of like on that. Like it's the same thing as Becky, right? She was just a different version of Becky. Like that's why they put the belt on Becky when Rhea got hurt was because she's a safe choice. It's the same thing with yeah, because she's Becky Hogan. Yeah. But fucking um, Naomi looks like she's running in quicksand. I don't get it. I feel like you were just glazing her a couple of weeks ago. Me? Yeah. No, uh, no. I, I do. I do remember what we were talking about, though. It okay. was that match with uh, where, with Jade Cargill. It was that trios, that three on three match with uh, uh, the Queens versus Damage Control. Right. And I told you that Naomi was going to be doing the bulk of the work in that match, and she did. Oh, maybe that was it. Uh, the, um, speaking of which, the uh, and I, I agree wholeheartedly with Tony, but can we put the belt on Tiffany Stratton already? Yes. She's so good. Yeah. Hey. And she is a natural fucking heel. Guys, did, did you know this? I'm actually just hearing this for the first time. She's from Minnesota. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Never heard yeah, that. I did I did, uh, did say that about an hour and a half. Never ago. heard that in my life. It's so crazy. You're telling me this for the first time. Just right a little, just, hey, just a little fun fact for your Wednesday evening. A little fun fact for you, you know. That's what we do here on this show. Fun facts. Nothing but fun facts. Mm -hmm. uh, Damien Priest and Jey Uso. I don't really remember this match, actually. That's weird. Did I piss her? This person? was basically a, you know, continue the fall of the Judgment Day kind of match. Oh, the ending. Yes, I do remember the ending, though. What happened? I, th I think uh, the, the World Heavyweight Championship is basically just uh, in limbo until Clash of the Castle, where Drew McIntyre wins it back. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Although hard to hard to say with Drew hurt. Oh, Drew's, Drew. Drew's winning it back. Is Drew hurt? He's he's hundred percent winning the title. He, yeah, he's got an arm injury. He's hundred percent right. winning the title in Scotland in a home crowd. Cl Clash in the castle is June fifteenth, so he's got plenty of time to heal his arm wound. Uh, does he does he bring back broken dreams again? Maybe so. did lap did lap at last clash in the castle. Huge pop, by the way. That's that's such that's such one of those good like Jim Johnson era songs for WWE, right? Where everything was like every every song was either influenced by like Fifty Cent or Stained. Y'all know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah, Jim, yeah. Jim Johnson had so many bangers. He he, God, he did. That's why I've said I've said that several times. In chat, I said if if Triple H really wants to solidify himself, right, as like this being a new era, bring back Jim Johnson. I I'm pretty sure Jim Johnson's like like 75 or something, but I don't care. Jim Johnson. Jim Johnson, composer. He oh, he's only is... 65. No, he's 65. Oh, he he's still got it. He still got his fastball. Born Bring... in oh, you talk about God's country. Born in Pocahontas, Arkansas. Is that Ozark country? That's gotta be. Let's check that out. It um no. <laughs> Nowhere near him. Oh, really? Nowhere near him. Other side of the state. Stalin's throw from Memphis, in fact, so. 
Well, okay, so that makes sense because of Memphis being a wrestling hub. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, oh, Tony, your girls. What happened here, bud? Uh, well, they got jobbed out to uh, things I can't say on stream. This feels racist. This feels like a racist thing for the WWE to do. It was, and uh, you know, not not acknowledged for it, but uh, old girl Aska was working on a torn meniscus or whatever. Could barely yeah. walk. Broke still, still neck. the whole match. Yeah. And apparently she didn't get hurt in this match. She got hurt in something previous. No, she, she was hurt for a few days, still did the match. Based. Yeah. Based Oscar, by the way. Yeah. Big respect. Big. Uh, and yeah. hey, the thing, uh, we forget this a lot. I think this goes unmentioned. She ain't no spring chicken either. No. No. She's, Oscar's she's, like 45. I don't think she's that old. 42. She's 42. Yeah. Still, 42, has a couple of children. Broke freaking neck. Does she? Wrong person, but you know what I mean. Good. No, she definitely does. I I I don't remember where I read that. Let's see, personal life. Um. Okay, maybe I did make that up. Irie Sane is thirty five. No, uh, Uri is a mother. So there you go. Oh, according to Becky Lynch and Naomi, she's a mother. Okay, well. To be fair, that could have just been like a work or something. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but if she wants to be one again, mm. I know who she can call. So true. It's Devin. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. And then the main event. So, all right, boys. What 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 are, what are we giving these matches? Bloodline, Kevin Owens. Stars. I like that match a lot. Stars. That was a certified beefy match. Okay, certified beef match. Don't have good stars. All right. Bailey, Naomi, and Tiff, Tiffy time. How many stars are we giving that one? Uh, it was all right. It was all right, stars. <laughs> okay, I like that. Uh, Damien Priest, Jey Uso? This was a way better Jey Uso match than that Mania. Well. Which was... Quite possibly the worst pay-per-view match of the modern era. Do you think... All right, side note. Do you think we get a redo on that eventually? On um, Jay and Jimmy? Yeah. No. Or do they just go, fuck it? I think that... Well, they, they killed Jimmy, right? Like they wrote him off. Yep. Wait, the really? Last is he time done? they did that, he came, it was when he came back as a heel. When he fucked when he fucked Jay in the in the one match, so it would only make sense that they write him off TV for a couple months and bring him back as a babyface. I see. Yeah, I think the next time we see Jimmy reunites with his brother. Oh, okay. agreed. Yeah, so I don't we, think anybody wants to see that match again. That so are we are we saying match. that Jimmy is the weaker of the two brothers? Uh, no, I think Jimmy's the better, but uh, you know his his position in the story. I think he's also hurt. Like, oh. I think he did end up getting hurt. So his position in the story just kind of worked to get him written off TV for a while. I see. All right. Um, and then the last one, we're going to give zero stars because the Kubicki Warriors lost. I think we're all okay with that. In, in all seriousness, though, there was a point in that match where it just turned into a shit-filled botch fest. It, it was rough, yeah. People oh, and were theorizing maybe that, J that Jade might have got her bell rung on one of those bumps. Because there was at one point she was like stumbling around and looked like she was concussed. All right. Oh, uh, sorry. And then the last one, I give this uh, play the sound. Tim, I, I, you you give this la 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 la. Out of five. La 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 la. Out of five. Yeah. All right. Whatever that means is up to the viewer. Yeah. All right. So apparently the translation for that was literally he really is phenomenal. La 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 la. God, I hate Europe. I I legitimately but, hate Europe so much. The match I, itself the match itself was great. I was thinking like you know, probably a you know four plus stars. Okay. Right, but I still hate Europe. 
everybody like in the commentary is like, oh, you can't do, you can't even do a pay per view in the U.S. anymore. The WWE should do everything in Europe. No, yeah, that's that's a lot of the uh, IWC chatter. They just fucking gassed them up for being loud and yeah. Let's let's do everything in Europe now. No, fuck off. No, let's hey, let's not do anything in Europe except nuclear holocaust for legal that reasons. Is, that's a joke. I I am okay with backlash being the international PLE. Yeah, I, I yeah, could. Well, guess what? We've got like fucking four of them coming up. So right, well, yeah. But one of, like the backlash was in Puerto Rico last year, right? One of them has to be, of course, be in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, Saudi Arabia, because you got to go where your bread's buttered. Yeah, yeah I mean the Saudi Arabia one's kind of based. You mean where you know, your bagels kind of makes a lot of people mad? <laughs> That's, That's called a callback. Lest we forget Braun Strowman winning the greatest Royal Rumble and then it never happening again. <laughs> My man Titus O'Neil baseball sliding underneath the ring. Mm. You know, shout He's out saying... to shout out to Titus O'Neil though, still being employed though. Oh yeah, he's yeah. Love Titus. Oh, big Titus guy. He's great. Big Titus guy. I did. I didn't. Not a big him where he, you know, he go ooh ooh ooh, ooh like like ooh ooh, 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 yeah, something like that. I can't even do it. It's such a weird sound. I don't think that ever got over. It no, it didn't. No. Speaking of things that didn't get over. Have you watched any of this, any of the clips? I know you haven't watched the show because I haven't either. Of this bullshit with the Young Bucks doing their heel authority gimmick? No. It's it's not so, a second of it, dude. It's so bad. It's so crazy because, like, I don't like the Young Bucks, right? Like, I, I think they're kind of stupid. If I'm if I'm being perfectly honest with you boys, I think they're kind of stupid. The young cucks. I've never liked them. Even yeah. like even at a point the point where like I would have been kind of like IWC adjacent. I always thought them being like puffed up was so stupid. Like I liked Bullet Club, you know, I liked, you know, Prince Devitt, uh, you know, uh, you know, the darlings, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Young Bucks, uh, not so much. Not so much. So I like, I like the random Bullet Club callouts though, leading in the build leading to the um, Cody and AJ match because they were both Bullet Club. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, those were good. Those were good. When they went for the uh, two sweet and just slapped him in the face. Cody goes for the two sweet and AJ Pie yeah. faces him. That was good. Yeah, that was. That was a good. That was a good build and a decent match. That was a very good way to start the the reign of continuing the story or whatever they're calling it now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, and I realize this is, you know, IWC largely and then Pajit nonsense. This whole thing where, where these people are burying Cody's reign before it even begins, like before it even first defends, like, oh, right. so oh it sucks. Shit. It sucks. It's so There's bad. only one true title holder. Oh. He got scammed. Our tribal <sighs> chief should still have the belt. Anyways. Mm -hmm. All I'm right. excited for Roman to go eventually come back though, and this bloodline shit to pop off again. Yeah. I just hope like, they they're, building, they're building that shit in waves. I love it with the whole uh, Paul Heyman talking to Nick Aldis and him getting caught in the lie about Roman pulling himself out of the draft. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting because obviously because we've seen him as a baby face, right? And no one wants to ever see that again. So it's gonna be interesting to see him like in the almost. I'm assuming, right, a CM Punk anti-hero kind of role. Yeah, I mean, I imagine it'll kind of be like, mommy, she's she's a heel, but everyone loves her. Right. Yeah, it's that's, but that's why it didn't work. Roman is a babyface. No. And as the top guy, what Vince McMahon chose. Yes. Now the fans have chosen. Suffering Succotash. Oh my. <laughs> God. Was so, oh my goodness i feel see the thing about roman is and it, it makes me feel bad he's the only person i've ever popped for having leukemia go on because when he came out and announced he's gonna be taking time off i went yay right i was like get well soon take your time in recovery right 
oh it's oh the weirdest, oh am i the, the oh, am i the bad guy here no no i'm 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 i'm, I'm with okay you. okay it, it's the it's the best possible way for him to have had to fight leukemia holy <laughs> uh, do I, you know I, I get what you mean because he was you were still dealing with the you know constant pushing of baby yeah. face roman do you remember and, during that time when there was like legitimate theories from insane people where they were like oh he doesn't actually have leukemia blah blah blah. despite the fact that like the vikings also had it like on record that he'd had it back when he was uh he wasn't drafted, right, like it was, was part, he? It was part of his medicals. From yeah, yeah, like football. it's it's confirmed he had leukemia at some point, and yeah. it does often come back. So, fucking, I hate the IWC. Yeah, the IWC can all just total IWC death. Well, yeah, you know what I don't hate. Hmm. Tony, the idea about Planet? looking at Google Earth. Why are we doing this? Because uh, Google Earth is basically Google Maps, but better. Well, okay. So when we had this discussion, I didn't disagree. The only problem is that, like, when you look at Google Earth, you can't really, like, pull up, like, information like we do about, like, places and stuff, right? Oh, uh, you can't click a business and see it or something? I don't think so, unless it's changed. Let's, let's, let's go into... Stuff. Let's check Laurel Hometown, right? Also, it takes... Oh, okay. No, I guess... You... Well, they're there, but you can't... Oh, no, I guess you can't... Oh, what? Hello. <laughs> Hello, random black guy that pops up. Okay, so if it says learn more in Google Maps, so you can only get rudimentary information. Yeah, and like, I obviously... Like, I mean, yeah. it is kind of interesting, I guess, to look at it like this, but... Is there, like, a 3D setting you can turn on? I feel like this should be not flat. It is indeed 3D. It, is it might 3D only map certain... Like, if you go to New York City, for yeah. example, it's probably fully mapped in 3D. New but... York City? Yeah, New York City. Only, only, I think only Tim's gonna actually remember that reference. This sauce is made in New York it, City. Yep, there it is. New York City. That was uh, Pace, as I recall. I or was think, it Old El Paso? Uh, I honestly can't. Old El Paso shit talking Pace. That's what it was. Um, that doesn't like, seem right. Yeah, why are we not? I feel like New York of all places should be mapped three. Maybe it takes a while to load in. You maybe give it a second. Oh, yeah, here it is. They're popping. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. It's <laughs> popping in. It's popping in. Yeah, even on fiber, this shit takes a while. So, yeah, I mean, that's yeah. that's kind of cool, I guess. But I, I think that maybe uh, this is more useful for when your planning relates to, like, the shape of the place, right? Like, right. whether it be a city because you need to navigate in three dimensions or, like, for nature stuff, right, where you need a more intricate view of... Oh, the topography and stuff, yeah. Yeah. I noticed that from the zoomed out view in the U.S., look at there's icons for like national parks or something. There was, was yeah, yeah, yeah. We could we could a uh, double reference. Yeah. This I'm sorry, Liz, I'm sorry, y'all. This should be illegal. Mm -hmm. This this shouldn't exist. This is this is profane. Well, to to make it even worse, my mom was telling me that they've now legalized weed there, so the city not only smells of its usual bullshit, it also constantly smells of weed now. Ooh, yeah. is this a is this a power factory, power plant? Probably. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I also hate like this public housing commie block bullshit I always see everywhere in New York. I honestly don't hate that as much you as would. I hate like the high rise apartments because this at least has green space in between the apartments that like. Oh God, it's, form it's even. Why is there like this dip, right? This like they're big over there, and they're big over here, but like right here they're they're not. I, it's just different uh, kind of centers, you know. Uh, New York okay. kind of does the. Uh, Kind of like the Tokyo thing where there's almost like multiple downtowns, I think. Oh, there you go. Let's let's look at Tokyo. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. We could go to like uh go to like uh Akihabara or something, yeah. And that'd be pretty dead center. I do like the animations though when it plays like that. Yeah. That's fun. This will probably take a second to pop in. This will well. take five hours. This play this place is retarded. Yeah, so this should that, be illegal that park too. there it, on the upper left is kind of the center of Tokyo. That's where the I think that's the Royal Park or whatever. Mm -hmm. Imperial. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, um, they don't have they don't have just like any crazy tall buildings in Tokyo though. There are like the Sky Tree gets fairly tall, I think. But yeah, but that's like, like not... the Sky Tree is like a like more like a. Well, yeah, they're not landmark. like do, they're not doing like the uh, the 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 Taipei or like uh, Kuala Lumpur stuff where it's like just really crazy. Right. That's gonna take a while for all this to pop in, though. So we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 
Let's see where. Oh, oh yeah. Oh wow. Why is this taking so long? I feel like this should be faster. I don't know if it's your internet rate limited or it might actually be your computer. No, I, I no. So. I'm I'm looking at my stats, you know, because I got all my stuff here on Stream Deck. CPU's hardly using anything. It's using like a meg of internet, hmm. which is crazy because I have there's 999 more you could use. So I wonder. I assume Maps probably has a way to download the data for certain regions, so you don't have to get it off like on the internet. You know, like you can just get it offline. But that's not really useful right now either way. But like if there's an area you looked at often. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Well. Well. That's the thing, I guess. If it runs like shit, it kind of kind of puts a problem in the whole use Google Earth. Yeah. Plan. Well, um, that was a fun segment. <laughs> well, hold on. Let's let's go. To, let's pop open maps because there's an area that I okay. want to discuss. Um. Maps. And it's it's going to be better on maps too because I want to look at the businesses and stuff. All right. Where is it? Uh, well, if you're if you're going on maps, go to uh, White Horse. Uh, it's like Canada near near Alaska. It's along the Alaskan Highway. Okay. So if you zoom out, you'll see this is a very remote place. It's like it's like the capital of the Yukon. Oh geez, like, yeah. Okay. It's like in the middle of nowhere. Like you have to go like many hours north of like Vancouver and stuff to get there, and then many and it's many hours to the, anywhere in. Uh, Alaskan stuff. It's like kind of parallel to like yeah. For instance, like, like, like reference here's Juno. Yeah, it's like a little bit parallel to the like Alaskan Panhandle or whatever you want to okay. call it there. Um, but I was just surprised because like it, it seems like a decently vibrant town for its like extremely remote location, and there were some restaurants that look good there. And I don't know where they are on the map, but I on the video I was watching, they have like these little three story like log cabins that were supposed to be like really early, rudimentary like uh, like log cabin skyscrapers almost. <laughs> Pretty cool little uh, museum here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of restaurants if you zoom in close to like the city streets. Chef, Chef Angelo. Oh, it's an Asian restaurant. Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't sound Asian. Looks kind of good though. I mean, the Are first those picture looks pork rinds. Yeah, probably. Hmm. It's getting crazy. Yeah, fried rice. This doesn't look bad actually. Yeah. Okay. Party looking. Decent. The decent enough looking. Fair. Look good. Oh yeah. Well, Big also old. Italians are the masters of all foods. So. That's true. Oh, so you think you think Angela's an Italian guy who just decided to go Asian? Burnt Toast yeah. Cafe. You saying you ever heard Ooh. of an Angela that isn't Italian? Mm. Wow. Okay. Could we make a tinier photo <laughs> of this steak? Yeah. Okay, this looks yeah. decent. A panini and. Um, that actually almost looks like a uh, like a baked potato casserole or something. Mm -hmm. English muffin. Hey, I got I got I got dabbed on the other day. Yeah, you got for some like heat an, for the English muffin. For thing. like in yeah, like in English muffins. I was like, I think Allison said it was like an old person thing. <laughs> well, I'm oh, not gonna I'm not gonna say anything because apparently if I do, she's gonna get correct. very angry. So Jeez, I okay. like English muffins, but I never buy them because like, they're like kind of a scam. Why, wait, why are why, they? As, why would I get angry that you, as an old person, like English muffins? No, uh, we, we were no, talking about you. our uh, friend on. Yeah, yeah. delicious Japanese More food, authentic yeah. Japanese setting. I don't know. Uh, oh, in um, in like, Indian place. Uh, hey, speaking God, of metal trays, so gross. right? I, I do like when Indian places do that. I, I down here, a lot of Indian places don't do the metal tray thing, and I think it's fun because you get like a separate. This is an Indian burger. Well, Indian burger, nice. Uh, so, uh, in terms of other things besides food, there's like a little boardwalk area along the river there. There's also uh, oh, there is, and there's uh, you might have to do street view to see it, but uh, there's also apparently there's like a wind vane in front of one of the shops there. That's just like a plane, and like the plane rotates on its like it's kind of uh, oh, this is to this is face this the is wind. comfy. Yeah, no, it looks really nice in the warmer months. I mean, I'm sure it's fucking brutal during the winter. There's a university there, by the way, too. It's Sanchez Catina. Mm. Those oh. are some extremely bland-looking tacos. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, there's not not even like oh uh, yeah, some chicken nachos. Was... Not great for the accusations. Yeah, not great for the what, Canada what's, what's accusations. The here? Is... Uh, you know exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Har harsh. Oh yeah, yeah. Brother's name is harsh shit. 
<laughs> Brother's name is Harsh Shit Sharma. Not Apparently, helping the Canada's accusations. Canada's like fucking 15% Indian already. It's kind yeah, of Yeah, no, it, it is legitimately a thing. It's nuts. That's, that's, and you, that's terrible for if them. You would like like to hear, then, if you would like to hear our actual thoughts on this matter, tune in yeah. eventually on Friday nights for the Roast Brief Lesbians. Yeah, oh, God. Yeah, I have a lot to say on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see, there's, but if you go to the north side of town, there's, like, a university, um, like, kind of, like, tucked away in there, right there, kind of the Yukon University. Yukon University, that's a, it's a, it's a tiny little do place. They, do they have a football team? <laughs> they don't, no, they, they don't have, I don't think of any sports. Yeah, not any fair, fields. I feel like a lot of year up there, you're probably not going to be doing much sports. That's true. The campus looks nice, a nice little small campus, though. Yeah, let's get a quick street view. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it is what it is for Yukon, Canada. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, for, for, yeah, for where it is. It, it, I mean, the design definitely is reminiscent of like a nicer high school, to be honest, but, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it's a little, it's a little place, a little mm -hmm. Yukon trailer park. A trailer park. Would you live in a trailer park in, uh, Whitehorse? I, I think that could be fun. You know, this is like 90% Indians, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. And I assume a lot well, of what it's probably oh, here's, uh, here's more of them. Punjabi princess. Punjabi princess. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I don't mean those Indians. I mean, you know, how like, smoking like, peace. Oh, like in Inuit Indians, yeah. you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Not yeah. What, what was that? He's doing the, you know. <laughs> the, the Indian oh, call. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I could hear it more in real life than I could through your mic, so it was That's weird. actually kind of funny. Um... Uh, this is a weirdly is, laid out like, little town. Like these are like this. These no. This is um. Oh no, 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 no. I don't know what the hell is happening here. Honestly, it's a weird little. It's like I a weirdly. Like when, I, I feel like when you get this far north, you get into situations where you get like almost like company towns are a thing. You know, right? Some like I don't. This is probably. Oh isn't yeah, one, this like, isn't. This isn't real. This is Prague Gen. It doesn't look that bad as a suburb, to be honest. It's not that sprawling. Uh, the houses are different. It's not the worst I've seen. Hold on, what do we got going on? I just found a we got a well, there's a wrestling show nearby in Mountain City, Tennessee at the end of May. Yeah. Oh yeah. You gonna go? We got uh let me look at the card. <laughs> look at the card. Let's see. Here's the uh so they're advertising the the barbarian is gonna be there. So all their foes are like the barbarian wrestling Hulk Hogan back in the eighties and early nineties. Who I don't even know hmm. who the barbarian is. He was in a he was in what was it? The uh, Faces of Fear with Ming, huh? Which was like a Legion of Doom knockoff. Two big scary some bitches. Now he's just like old. Oh my god, Ricky Morton is still alive, let alone wrestling. Oh, I do not. I don't even recognize this guy. Huh? He's sixty-five. Yeah, that's rough. That's rough. Hmm. Yeah, that hmm. appears to be. A, that's a lot of what this is. We've got um, Ricky Morton, Keith Slater. Hey, hell yeah, dude! Big Heath he's, Slater, Mark. He's got kids. He's got work to do. He does. Let's see, dude. He, that yeah, he that and, uh, micro wrestling federation is here in Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We've talked about it before. Uh, yeah, I saw them live in Pikeville last year. It was it a good time? It was funny. I actually stayed in the same hotel as all the wrestlers. Based. Yeah. Um, let's look at the map. So they definitely like in the, I was watching a road trip basically from like near the border up to like up the Alaskan highway to like uh, like the tippy top of Alaska. And like this stretch, the highways coming in and out of this area are very pretty as well during the warmer months. Antoinette's eclectic, artful mainstay with relaxed atmosphere serving local fare with a Caribbean twist. That sounds awful. Hmm. That actually, sounds... I think this, is, this isn't the only Jamaican. There's like a Jamaican restaurant there, too, separate from this. <laughs> Jamaican me crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, anyways. Where's that? It's, it, it, what's the, what's uh, that? Let's see the Java barbecue connection. Was that oh uh Indian down cuisine? the bottom right what does that say oh uh, that's a car that's like a coffee place java, java okay i thought it said, said the java barbecue i was like what's that is that a that looks like a cheddar bay basically it does it's actually going. a little bit yeah uh god those those biscuits are really good actually they are yeah that looks good i'd eat that 
Hmm, respectable. Yeah. This, yeah, this, you know, cafes can uh, actually sometimes, a lot of times, actually have really decent food. Yeah. And it goes pretty unnoticed because you're like, oh, I'm, you know, getting coffee. It's like, no, 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 no. There's nah. a cafe back around where I, you know, where I lived in California that like so apparently had decent burgers. I never made a chance to like try them, but like a cafe with burgers, huh? Oh yeah, wood fire pizza place. That doesn't look bad. That looks good. Is that ooh, is that Archo Carts? I feel like Archo Carts. I think so, yeah. Oh yeah, good. Oh yeah, yeah. These decent peps. Okay, yeah, that's, you know, for I mean again. A little wing action there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, when yeah, when when are we going? When are we going? Uh, tomorrow. We loading up? Meet you there? All right. That bread looks good. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, in a place like Whitehorse, right? You're in the frozen north. You kind of just got to take what you can get, too, you know? Right, like, right, right, right. So you're true. a little bit away from civilization, you know? You're so little... true. So true. Big river I up here. I bet this lake's, you know. Uh... Yeah, that wall you guys kind of can. Okay. Oh, yeah. Have you oh, ever yeah, seen the course the Yukon that. River takes? It's very weird. Like, the uh, the route it takes, it's like it's uh it flows like kind of from the south up through white horse and it doesn't go it, it, that's like a branch that you're following it oh, goes okay. like actually into alaska and like spills on the northwest coast of alaska is the watershed oh, oh is this uh it? yeah here okay i found yeah, it, yeah. It, 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 like oh yeah, yeah, yeah that is here. weird course huh yeah it, like it's like it, and it starts like on the uh i think it starts on like the eastern side of the canadian rockies or something and somehow like turns around and gets into and it's just funny because like if, you, if you're looking at it in terms of just like a top-down perspective it seems like there'd be a lot faster paths for it to empty into the ocean but it, right like, it's just funny how topography works right like it's because yeah. rivers are basically what they're doing is they're finding the lowest path you know like the path yeah, of yeah, resistance yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just funny how that ends up all right i've wow. seen a lot of well, it really makes people... you question uh what what they claim about the world and that's the path the rivers take. Right. Mm, exactly. So exactly. Exactly. This uh this like Dalton, I don't know if this is the Dalton Highway, but the, the Dalton Highway that goes up through North Alaska here and ends in a uh, dead horse or something. It's fun, or something like that. Uh looks pretty intense. I've seen a lot of videos of people taking it and it's like if you break down you're like fucked. Mhm. Mm All right. Well, um What do we? What do we learn on the show tonight, boys? I want another Tim can't fucking hang as predicted. Yeah, I learned that a lot of people seem to prefer butter on bagels, which is stupid. Not yeah, gross, that, that's stupid. wild to me. Cream cheese is the way to go. Tony. Um, I learned that apparently British people actually exist. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a bit of a disappointment to learn that, but yeah, but you know, it's better. It's better to know, right? Yeah. So you can prepare yourself. Um, I learned that for some reason my Discord keeps crashing on my other computer, and that's something we need to figure out. Also learned. For those of you who are watching or will be watching or are watching later on, right? 601-651-0519. Leave a voicemail. We'll listen to it next week when we come live. Maybe do maybe maybe like start doing like little cold open things where we just play the voicemail, right? And Wonder then if, launch uh, the show. Trayvon will leave us any voicemails this mm, week. Maybe. You know what he might? I, I feel like Trayvon is definitely a voicemail kind of guy. So Right. <sighs> All right. Well, someone say something stupid, and let's get out of here. Um, Beef Horse, Canada. Yeah.